Some of you have noticed that the initiative has not debated anyone in a while. In the interest of transparency, we now reveal the reason for this. Recently, we were challenged by a detractor. It didn't go well. Now, released publicly for the first time, is that very debate, unedited, uncensored, and an unmistakable L on our part. PPLittle.com Hi, I'm PP Little, the anti-woke warrior, and today I'm debating Dane of actual fandom. Hey, PP, big fan. I bet you are. And joining him today is Turf Nation. Hey, guys. And fine. Sorry, I, I have to go. Uh, um, is, is, is DJ showing up? Uh, sorry, PP. DJ couldn't make it. Oh, thank fucking Christ. And finally, we have, from Organized Chaos, Bob Chaos. Hey, thanks for having me here. Shut up, Bob! Whoa, too far, PP. Yeah, I'll take that from Dane and my boys and my whores, but not from you. Oh, yeah? What now, Bob? Okay. Huzzah! You have fallen for my trap. You have accepted money, making you a grifter. Objectively? By definition! Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you guys are used to taking money, you shills. You fell for my trap. I laid it out perfectly. Sure you did, PP. Are we going to debate or what? Yes, of course. Now, I have a very simple question to ask you guys. Sure you do. What's wrong with being white? <laughs> Would you be laughing if I asked what was wrong with being black? <laughs> Who said there was anything wrong with either? You, you guys did. When? Well, um, when... PP, um, we are white. You sure as hell don't act like it. And how should white people act? Oh, like this. Get out of here! You see, like that. Whoa, dude, are you saying that all white people are racist? Hey, uh, I watch Eric July. So? He says all the things that I can't. Why not? Well, because then I'd be called a racist. By who? The people whose lives don't matter. Whoa, what exactly do you mean by that? If you were a proper white man, you would know. Guess I'm not a proper white man. Ha! <laughs> I got you again. <laughs> now, Bob. You aren't bothered by the Black Mermaid, so why do you support white genocide? He says you paid him $50 to shut up, and he's going to need double to keep talking. Uh, that's bad faith. That's capitalism. We can keep talking, PP. I'm really triggered by your just- Shut up, Dane! Uh-oh. Ah, oh, shit. <clears throat> One hundred dollars to to get to get me to talk to. Ah. <clears throat> Thanks, PP. Thanks, man. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't be paying if I wasn't winning. You call this winning? Now who's moving the goalpost, Dane? Your bad faith. Here we go again. You just did something you criticize others for doing. That's the definition of hip, 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 hip bad faith, bad faith. PP, please spell it. Aw, oh, screw you, dude!
You see, you can't even spell it. I doubt you know what it means. Uh, I'll tell you what bad faith means. Uh, 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 girl, did you hear what Rachel Ziegler said? That doesn't answer the question. Either spell it or say what it means. Okay, okay. I'll tell you what bad faith means. Dane, early in the initiative, you accidentally misspelled it as the initiative in one of your first episodes. And Bob, you can be really condescending sometimes. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, that's not funny. You guys are both hip 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 hypocrites. <laughs> Nobody does what it's like to be a pee-pee. No, Bob, I don't know who you are. I've never seen your content before. I don't even know what's going on most of the time. But I can tell that Dane and the Initiative are holding you back. I get that a lot. It's funny, though, because it comes from people in chat who have never seen my stuff. If you'd stop banning me, I wouldn't have to make so many accounts. How many accounts do you have? As many as I need to keep the loneliness away. Damn, PP. That's really sad. It ain't easy being PP. I just... She hates me, man. Who hates you? Princess Peach. Princess Peach? I think he's talking about the part in the trailer where she kicked Kick the umbrella, umbrella up, up in the Mario trailer. See, I'm not the only one. Nintendo hates men. Woke. Are you okay, PP? I, I watch Geeks and Gamers, Dane. You think I have much to offer women? I can hold stuff. Umbrellas. The black round rim glasses their boyfriends take off before sex so they don't get foggy. That's it. Those glasses do look familiar. Now the feminazis are saying it's sexist to hold umbrellas for women. There's nothing feminist about umbrellas, PP. Politics is downstream from culture, Dane. Princess Peach hates men. Geeks and gamers told me so. Damn, PP. You got issues. PP issues. Hey, DJ. Bob, shut up. Hey, PP, love your channel. It's the coolest channel on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe to Pop Counter Culture for more PP Little. Hit the like bell, subscribe, and say hi in the comments while you're at it. Pew, pew. DJ. I was listening to you guys, and I have something to say. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, okay, DJ, shoot. Oh, I'm not even going to touch the whole proper white man stuff. That is just fucked up, and you know it. Woke. The one thing that really stood out to me was that whole Princess Peach thing. Groomer. I mean, do you hear yourself at all? The whole plot of that movie is that Mario saves Luigi, two men. If she hated men or whatever, why would she help in saving them? What about Bowser, huh? They made the villain a traditional alpha male. Pee Pee, he holds Luigi ransom to pressure Peach into a marriage she doesn't want. Do you call that traditional? <laughs> he was created in the 80s when no one thought twice, three times, four times for making Bowser the villain just for kidnapping. Was it woke then? At least the movie elevates what makes him a villain to kidnap, ransom, and basically oh, forcing a woman. Whoa. Holy shit, PP. Pee -pee. Bad faith. <laughs> Triggered? Shut up, Bob. Your voice is annoying. <clears throat> bad faith. Bad faith. I'm not going to talk to people who are so obviously in bad faith. I'm built like a goddamn brick. A little brick. That's all for today, everyone. Stay angry. It pays my bills. I won this debate. Pee pee little out. <laughs>
Um, We're about inclusiveness and we want new people in. Chinese the fandom initiative. Fandom initiative. Fandom initiative. Re-educate me? They're more than welcome to try. <laughs> hey, hey, everybody! <laughs> Hello. Huh? What? Are we talking now? What? Yeah, we're I'm... talking. Nobody okay. warned me that we were talking. God damn it! So, I yeah, thought we... this was gonna be one of those streams where we just stare at each other awkwardly. Fuck. <laughs> so, um, how are you guys feeling after that absolute destruction of the initiative? I don't. I don't see want to cancel. Can we just cancel this? Because, like, how are we supposed to show our faces? My yeah. ego is devastated. Um, I'm just down in the dumps. He he wrecked us, guys. I have to tell you. Holy shit. Massive, massive intellect. He even killed my dog before that. That was insane. <laughs> he should yeah. change his name to he should change his name to PP Big after that one. That was a uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he evolved. I, you know, I think the little thing, I think that has more to do with how he feel how he sees himself, maybe. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it's not really a size, just like he he doesn't see himself as a PP big. Okay. So, mm. Yeah. It's a confidence um, thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is the first one, I guess. That's yeah, officially titled that, like in the intro and stuff. I think we we kind of announced that's what we were doing last week. So, yeah. All right. Well, shit. How you guys doing? It's Halloween. Woo. Yeah, Spook Jeez, spooky season. Spooky season. I've uh, I've got Man, my it's... costume already for for Halloween weekend. So what what are you? I'm going as Beach Ken. So oh damn, nice. Yeah, mm. yeah it's gonna be fun. Yeah, Bob, I... I see you're wearing yours. It's really scary. I... Yes, I'm <laughs> going as a as a as a Cure fan. It's gonna be devastating. <laughs> The no, I real monsters. I don't have my there. kids this year, so I just uh, brought back my fourth doctor costume because it's a good costume. <laughs> Fair, um, yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, that is a really funny sketch, and that's pretty much that's just all on uh, Ed Pop Counterculture, uh, who's linked below. You should subscribe to him, and uh, you know he loves doing that stuff. He's really glad that people have taken a liking to PP Little. Uh, mm -hmm. All my homies are down with the PP, you know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I love his pee pee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who doesn't love pee pee? Who doesn't love? <laughs> no, what I love about that that sketch is like it, I, I felt like me and Bob and Turf did a pretty good job, like because we all filmed our part at the same time, kind of thing. Or well, I guess yeah, 
same time pretty much yeah and then uh and then dj comes in and does his and it's like oh man fucking so good <laughs> like you can tell who the who's the one that's been like working a camera for years you know what i mean yeah <laughs> Uh, he, he deleted me quickly though. I was out. I came in and he immediately was like, no, fuck this guy. And, yeah. uh, yeah, no, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. I appreciated, uh, I appreciated the dialogue. I, he sent me a message. I haven't responded yet, but he did send me a message. I think, uh, it might've been yesterday. Um, sort of saying, sorry for all the dialogue. I had a lot to learn in a short amount of time, but I tried to kill it. I tried to kill it as best I could. So no, I, um, I was impressed how quickly you like you were able to read it off and not look like you're reading it off. My shit no. looks like I'm reading. <laughs> well, I mean, and then like you were like doing multiple, you would like do a take and then do another. Let me try it like this. And it's like, wow, this guy's like basically, did you take acting or anything? Were you no. Mm -mm. Kid? Wow. It's all just from doing YouTube videos. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> nice. Fair enough. I mean, I was struggling with my amount of lines, so I don't know yeah. how, how yeah. you guys yeah. did it. I sort yours, of got to a point where I'm like, I'm going to say it the way I would say it. I'm going to do the the line, but I'm going to say it like in my style. And so that's mm. why, uh, you know, I was like, what is he trying to convey here? And then I'm just going to do it the way I want to do it. Because that's what I do. I just do what the fuck I want most of the time. So that's all you got to do. I think that's what he wanted. Oh, look at this guy right here. Thank you guys for putting up with PP despite his <laughs> obvious victory. He's been seething for a week. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up with that? He he destroyed us. He won. Co coping and seething, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. His editing was great, by the way. Um, that was a great yeah. job. I thought it was amazing. Good job. Um, really well done. Over there, PP. Yeah, it, it, there is kind of a magic when you just film all these like desperate parts, and then like they get put together, and like it's a cohesive thing, and then it's like. I think you should turn it into like a streaming service yeah. and then grift off of that, sell it as a as a it makes shows like this on a for streaming. Well, uh, so we're gonna be doing some uh horror villain monster. What's the word we're going with? Look, and this is maybe this is just me, but I feel like we're gonna have to define some some parameters of like how we're ranking these things, right? Like what yeah, I guess we'll get into that as we go, but like mm. yeah. We got a couple I mean, of things to cover first, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> as a trailer, it, it's like a, a tier list of horror villains slash killers slash guys, you know, like mm -hmm. guys as in everyone, just the main person from horror movies, the, the thing okay. you think about, you know, okay, that that's preferably on the evil side. I, I do think about the thing quite a bit. Like yeah, like yeah. like like horror icons, basically. Yeah, yeah, that mm -hmm. that that's what I've gone for. And there's around fifty four of them. Wow. Yeah, so it'll it'll be a it'll be a, a long night. <laughs> we're we're gonna be. Here I mean, a while, this this will be the objective list. Yeah, um, this is the so. objective list, the best one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, our, our debates are always objective, and our rankings are always objective. So that's just because mm -hmm. we said so. Yeah. You know? And there, there's definitely well, going to be someone who's like, oh, you haven't, you, you forgot Wishy Washy from the the, the the Google, you know, and oh, Wishy Washy's a good one. <laughs> yeah, and and you know what, it, it's it's, I've I've not gotten everyone, but 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 there's there's a good selection, <laughs> yeah. so we'll have fun with it. Mm -hmm. Did well, you I get guess, the STD uh, the STD ghosts from uh, It Follows? Because that, oh, yeah. that was really freaky. Okay, I even tested it out myself. That is a freaky <laughs> one. I didn't even think about that one. I mean, if I can get uh, well, the STD ghost. I guess real quick before we dive into that, do we want to hit up uh, some some quick strike news? Uh, I mean, we might as well, right? Do, yeah. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it. Turf and I were not available at the meeting, so this is all like just <laughs> no coming clue. at us mm -hmm. hard and fast. Yeah. Well, uh, here's a couple things to go over. Uh, nothing huge, but like uh, there was some strike stuff. The one thing that came out that I thought was weird. So, okay. So I think Fran Drescher has been fairly based during this whole period. Not perfect, but fairly based. She's had some good points. Um, but I like she, they released this, this SAG oh, after God. Halloween guidelines. And I, I don't like them. Um, I don't either. It's dumb. So essentially what they've decided to do is say, if you're a member, do not go dressed as anything from struck material. And I'm like, can people just go out and have fun for like a night or even a week and not have to worry about this strike? Just go to your parties, have fun. Um, like I said, I think Fran Drescher has been pretty based, but I just, these rules, 
just let people have fun. I'm sorry. You know, you know what I think this is about? Maybe I'm completely wrong here. So tell me if I'm wrong, please. Um, I think they're worried that someone who is in a movie will dress up as their character and that will be considered promoting. Yeah. That's what I think I, they're worried about. Um, and I don't think she wants to nitpick and, and say, oh, you can't do this movie. You can't do this show. So they're just doing this blanket statement. Mm -hmm. But it's mm -hmm. dumb because it's yeah. Halloween. Like no one is going to take any of that seriously as them trying to promote a movie or TV show. But I think this is her making the mistake of trying to please everybody by doing something so broad, like a complete mm -hmm. swipe on everything. And it's just not working. I mean, I've seen people, uh, actors, I think Ryan Reynolds spoke out about this. There yeah. were a couple other people that spoke out about it um, because they have kids and stuff. Their, their kids should not yeah. have to abide by strike rules. What are they going to do? Go out to their parents and their parents tell them, Oh, you can't wear that suit because I, that's what I wear in a movie. You can't, you can't be, you know, Deadpool or yeah. anything like that. Like, what are you supposed to do with this? This makes yeah, this makes unions look yeah. so fucking uncool. Like I know. know, and people on the outside are like, like "Come on, really?" <laughs> yeah, no, it's not a good look. And again, like it's just like it's Halloween. Can't Halloween just be immune from the strike? Let's just let's just make a general rule and say like, unless it's something extreme, holidays and strikes just don't go together. Just just pretend I mean, like they don't. Exist. How, how about how about just don't don't pr if you're gonna dress as something don't promote the thing that's yeah. you're not supposed to promote like that's just the yeah. rule anyway so like just fucking yeah. leave the costume thing alone mm -hmm. well since here yeah. dress up as characters from non-struck content like an animated tv show aren't those voice actors aren't they part of the actors guild usually some voice actors are actors so wouldn't that still yeah. be considered struck material it, it varies from uh, material to material. I've seen. People I mean, for on example, Twitter if comment. Ryan Reynolds, if Ryan Reynolds does a voice acting of Deadpool in a Disney thing or something like that, isn't that essentially the same thing as him being Deadpool and in, in like a live action movie? I feel like it falls in the same category. I mean, it gets so, dumb really yeah, fast. I think so. <laughs> I, I, I. That's why I say, listen, just people should just go out enjoy their parties. Just choose costumes inspired by generalized characters like ghost zombie yeah. spider so so if i dress up as a <laughs> as a ghost for a, you know halloween and it happens to look like a ghost from like ghostbusters is that me violating you know strike guidelines or something it's this is so fucking stupid look yeah. I, i've been very yeah, supportive of sag and i support everything they're trying to do yes. i feel like this is just a weird this is a shift in the way they've done stuff and i and i think this this one i think is is this is going to divide some people in support of the strike and this is why they shouldn't have came out Honestly. yeah no yeah, this, this is a no yeah for me it's one of those things where i think that i'm like okay well i can understand maybe not wanting ryan gosling going out as ken but then like mm. then you get into nuances of like you know oh you shouldn't do this but you can do this and it gets all tricky and it gets to the point where essentially it gets to where i just say fuck it I don't care. Uh, another thing is that I don't want. know Go actors on. that dress up as their character. It doesn't happen usually. Like actors yeah, don't typically no. wear the suits from their like they might dress up as a friend's character from a movie, but it's never yeah. their character. I mean, I, yeah, I or don't. You, or you don't see like their that. kids being their character, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like I've 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 never looked at like a celebrity walking with their child who's dressed up as like Superman or some and be and thought. Hmm, that's good promotion for Superman. Right. It, yeah. It's it's just Halloween, you know? Yeah. Well, uh, uh, you brought up a good point here, uh, Debbie. Fran Drescher should be fired from SAG after president and replaced by George Clooney. Well, we're about to get to George Clooney because his uh, his thing's fucking weird, too. Yeah. Um. So so we can break into that real, real, real fast here. And then we'll get to the tier list, guys. Not too much longer. We're almost there. <laughs> So George Clooney has a proposal to end the SAG after a strike. Uh, essentially, like the, here's a list. It's a whole bunch of A-listers. George Clooney, Ben Affleck, and Scarlett Johansson have proposed they 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 eliminate the caps on their dues. So essentially, like usually there's uh, when they're they're in their upper range, like they do, they get they pay off a percentage of uh, their fees to SAG AFTRA up to a certain amount and they're saying get rid of that cap and we'll pay extra to sag after and in my mind i'm thinking okay that's kind of base that could help people out like especially people on the lower end okay but they're using this as a proposal to end the strike which doesn't work because like number one like 
compared to like David Zaslov and Bob Igor, like I'm George Clooney, Ben Affleck, Scarlett Johansson, they're doing well. They're nothing compared to those people. Like no. nothing. Um, it's it's just it comes off kind of like these people are very well off and they think, oh, oh, well, you know, I'll 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 pay a bit more, and you know, like the thought is nice. But like it's not remotely what's needed, and it, yeah, it just it's it's like like, like lack want... of understanding of like the difference yeah. between being like multimillionaires and being like multi billionaires. Yeah, right? like 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 yes, these people, massively. sure, sure, they could do something, right? Like it, it, if they yeah. paid more, right, it would help people. But like yeah, these big studios like Disney and shit, their billions like actually affect, mm -hmm. like big things right like like they they can truly change the, like the whole uh, field of being an actor you know yep absolutely yeah no like it just it, it comes off very like they think they like listen i'm these people are very well off they are the upper end of sag afra but keep in mm -hmm. mind like they're not striking against the upper end of sag after they're they're striking against the amptp a couple of guys who are undoubtedly billionaires at this point. Um, mm -hmm. These are the super wealthy. Um, and like, yeah, it, it just comes off as a bizarre proposal. And uh, yeah, Fran Drescher said no, because that's, we're not looking for money from you guys. Thank you. But no, the whole point is these guys are super wealthy. Uh, they should pay more of their fair share, not you guys. Mm -hmm. I also and want to point out that uh, the, the news just mm -hmm. came out today that Apple TV is also raising their prices. Every streaming service is raising their prices right now. And I think that is directly affected by the writer's strike and the actor's strike because they don't, they, all these negotiations they're making are based on consumers footing the bill. And I mean, mm -hmm. ultimately, we're going to be getting, we're, we're, like, it's really, it takes a lot of nerve to raise the price of a streaming service in the midst of what we're dealing with right now because there's not a lot of content coming out. Mm -hmm. So for them to go, oh, we're going to raise it like $3, knowing that the beginning of 2024 is going to be a wasteland. We're not going to have any like good content for like the first six months yeah. of 2024. Yeah. Yeah. So like we've already seen delays in some stuff that was supposed to come out this year. And we're going to almost certainly see more delays because uh, they're not filming still. Like right now, like the writer's strike is over. So they can do post-production, they can do pre-production, but they can't do production until uh, the actors are back. There's little production things they can do. But and like the lion's and what about actors that do. have that have prior commitments that they have to go back and finish before they can even start anything new? So we might have actors mm -hmm. that yeah. were on movies or TV shows that, that stopped filming like midway and they have to mm -hmm. finish and then, then they can start something new, which means that, again, I mean, 2024 is going to feel like 2020. Two no 2021 so like the yeah. era during covid where there just wasn't anything new um yeah it's going to be that again and what really sucks in all this outside of the fact that you know obviously the actors are striking for more money and we want them to get paid for what you know what they're worth but movie theaters were just recovering from dealing mm -hmm. with this during covid and now we're going to go back to them suffering again and it sucks for that industry as well i i mean i think the that the executives, whoever it is that's, you know, pumping out these numbers and figuring all this out, I don't think they truly understand what this means for the industry. And we can see here on YouTube that the interest in these movies and TV shows is getting lower and lower and lower because I think people are just fatigued from dealing with this. And like stuff that normally would be pulling in a lot of views is not, it's mm -hmm. not pulling in views. So. And then yeah. Anthony here's asking, asking, what are the actors striking for? I know the writers are striking due to lack of pay. Actors are striking due to lack of pay as well. See, it's it's, it's a lot of the same stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the mm -hmm. thing to understand about SAG-AFTRA is like, yeah, you have members like George Clooney, Ben Affleck, uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson. They're on the upper end. Um, interesting fact uh, about SAG-AFTRA as well. So... In order to qualify for the health insurance, you need to make $26,000 a year from acting jobs. 87% of members don't qualify. Right. That's yeah. why a lot of actors have side hustles because they can't they yes. don't make enough off of work. So, mm -hmm. 
And yeah, then right now the writer's strike is over. They came to a good deal. And I'm sure the, the SAG after a deal, they're looking to essentially do the same as the writers, but better uh, because that's, that's how this works. Uh, it goes in order pretty much. Every, but I'm just like every the next contract to be better. Mm -hmm. Every service we have is going to see a price hike. We've already seen most of them. Um, I mm -hmm. think Apple is one of the last ones. I think we're going to see Paramount Plus do a, a hike on it. Probably Peacock will do a hike on it. Oh. Um, yeah, I, I just... I, this is they're gonna essentially what's gonna happen is they are going to try and push customers nickel and dime people as much as they can to see what they can push people towards, you know? And mm -hmm. yeah, I think we're gonna see the death of some of these streaming services. We're gonna go back to like yes. just a couple of them. I don't think we're gonna have like 20 of them because they can't sustain this. Thank Network God. television Thank will come back. Look, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with like yeah. 23 episode seasons where we get a bunch of filler and, and writers and actors get paid their fair share. I'm okay with that. Um, yes, we had quality content for a while with streaming, but the but the greediness of the executives outweighed the the benefit of the consumer like we were we were eating really good for like three years on streaming and now mm -hmm. we're, we're back to what you know to this again so yeah mm -hmm. yeah so Goddamn and shame. i, I want to stress just because something like filler has been used as an insult there's lots of filler episodes of tv shows mm -hmm. that were fucking classics uh, well, that's where a lot of the, the well, and Bob, I do want to point out that filler episodes generally, and I did a little research on this filler episodes or bottle episodes of shows are written by writers very early into their career that are there. It's given to them to test the waters to see how good they are. So they can mm. get other gigs by eliminating filler episodes. You've eliminated uh, entryway for a lot of up and coming writers into jobs. So yeah. that's another thing. Wow. I, I didn't realize that that makes sense. Yeah, so, I don't know that. Yeah, so I guess it's to conclude this real fast. George Clooney and a couple of A-list actors have good intentions, but not a good plan. Yeah, some stuff nice. it wouldn't really solve much, you know? It's, it's a Band-Aid on a, a wound, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and, and it, it would also just kind of relieve the big studios from any responsibility. You know, yes. being like like the people in the middle who are still very well off, but like not to the same degree, being like, you know what, we'll take care of it. Yeah. And then the studios can just keep on doing their shit. Uh, Lucifer, this is a good point. Like a lot of times, like showrunners for TV shows, like that, that go on for a long time, like you know, seven, eight, nine seasons. The showrunners come from the 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 training of these writers and and directors and stuff on these shows that start out in the writers' room in these like bottle episodes and stuff like that. The showrunner for the Flash TV show was a writer from that same batch of people. That's a, that's an example of someone that started out as like a, a, a bottle episode writer that went on to become the showrunner for the show. So yes, it does happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hollywood, yeah. they don't care. This is why they're fighting so hard, mm -hmm. guys. Like these are things that you would not know without like digging into it to find out. And it's, yeah. it's unfortunate that they have to deal with this, you know? Well, because you got, you know, part of it is the is the the AI thing with a bunch of greedy fuckers who ha have no appreciation of like artistry, mm -hmm. who think they can just use these, you know, machine learning tools to uh, kind of, yeah, we, we don't need artists or writers or anything, mm -hmm. right? Like we don't we don't need that shit. Um, actually, have a, a post about that that we could look at. Um, let's see. Uh, so. Just open it up right here on the old uh, Discord. So this is a thing I saw. Just some guy posted. It's not the first time I've seen somebody say something pretty much just like this, but this is explicitly worded. It's just, oh, God damn it. Um, sorry. Pull this up. And, oh, yeah, share my screen. So yeah, uh, somebody arguing with somebody else about like why you know being able to make AI comics is a good thing or whatever, and he's saying yeah, one requires me to spend about twenty minutes at my computer, and the other requires me to spend eight hours a day, seven days a week for twenty years to come close to what I want. That's like this is somebody who wants to make a comic book, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and, mm -hmm. and that's Jesus Christ. <laughs> Man, I I uh I don't know. I don't know. If I just felt like sharing, you know, that misery with everybody else because yeah. I had to see it. So 
it, yeah, there's a lot it, of people it, that are thinking this way. It's just easy, you know. It's like, mm. oh, I, I, I really want to make this like like this cool comic, right? But I just don't want to do the effort to do it. I don't want to yeah. try to learn how to do it. Some of the techniques. I don't want to have any creativity for it. I just want to write on my laptop, you know, and then just get it. It's like, uh, you know, if you spend uh, years honing your craft, you're a sucker, you know? <laughs> a AI, yeah. AI right now is like the Napster of art because what Napster did was set Metallica into like a frenzy and caused them to change the way streaming music is for the world today. And I feel like that's where we are with AI right now until there's some sort of like regulations on it or whatever, it's going to be the Wild West. Uh, by the mm -hmm. way, though, if you like... I, I don't know if this is the same in every country, but over here, uh, the, the judge ruled that AI art cannot be trademarked or copyrighted. So anybody making a book using exclusively AI art with characters that you have created, you can't copyright that or trademark it. It's it's illegal. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so good luck with that. I mean, yeah, I don't I don't know about you guys because it, it it might always be a subjective thing, but it's like to me part of like appreciating art is also like acknowledging that there is human that like humans that have made Absolutely. it you know humans that have put effort into it that have had their own creative vision and their own artistic like artistry that's part of it you know that's a really fucking important part of it it's mm -hmm. not just oh this looks cool it's also yeah. like you know you can appreciate what's gone into it It'd and like, like no sorry go Oh, I mean, I was just gonna say, like the the most you know beloved, uh, well respected art of any kind is like something mm -hmm. that connects on a human level. Exactly. And like, what the fuck, you know? Literally, AI can't do that. You know, not that it's AI anyway, but that's a whole other subject. But like, yeah, it literally can't just uh, express a human uh, expression or, or connection to anything or whatever. It can't like say anything profound. It can only just fucking regurgitate shit. And yeah. Yeah. You know, another thing is, I it's funny to me that the crowd that is touting AI art as being like the next thing is the same crowd that has been talking about the government using AI to control people. Mm. So, I, which one is it? Well, if yeah, you keep them busy, if you keep it busy doing the art, they're not going to do the government control thing. I guess. What if, what if AI art is a psyop for the government to control you? I mean, that's, oh, shit. What if, but if that's what it is, I mean, it's just. <laughs> oh shit! They fall uh, for the trap. Well, you know, you talk well, about. Yeah. Uh, it's, we we are getting to the ranking. Just a couple of minutes. We got a couple of very quick things that I, I think we should hit on first. Um, but did you guys see this shit? basically everybody that's what happens when you're a free thinker anti-establishment or right wing or dissident media is just their slurs flung at the people who are doing news correctly when the media says dissident or anti-establishment i mean when i hear it i think base very cool so you got you got dave rubin lauren southern wow um, hmm. yeah it's just a, a who's who of fucking what the fuck but wait there's, there's good ones. There's just wait. speech is under attack that we self censor. Maybe they take us down individually. It's a lot harder to do when we're grouped together in this way. I worked for several massive corporate news organizations. What did I learn? Oh, they God. lie. Their agendas matter more than the truth. Independent media actually ah. <laughs> job is holding these people accountable. The challenge oh, for all of us is to not be passive participants in letting the country slip away. Let's go, white people. <laughs> Tenant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, which I think is a great I mean, name because it's going to be backwards. It's going to be incomprehensible. It's going to be do they have, do they have forgettable. Any, do they have any artistic or creative bone in their body? Is it just a bunch of people sitting around thinking of ways to, to make money off of people that are stupid? These Absolutely. are people that sound smart to dumb people. Mm -hmm. These are yeah. people that sound yes. smart to dumb mm. people. That's what it is. But also, yeah. un unironically, they definitely think they look the coolest they've ever looked. Like, yes. get a video oh, yeah. of like Tim Pool and like dark lighting looking up at the camera. He's he's like putting that on repeat back at home. Mm -hmm. Slowly, I love that he refuses to take the beanie off. That's the most. That's the. <laughs> most I was watching. Thing. Thing. I was watching a clip, and I don't know how long it's been like this, but like I said, I'd noticed that on the his logo on the wall in his fucking stupid podcast room there, his his logo actually has a beanie on it. 
and i never noticed that before so it's like he's just fully like yeah the beanie's me i am one with the is beanie. he does he even sell look i'm not trying to give him ideas but i mean if you're going to sell something the most genuine thing you could sell is a beanie collection i mean honestly if that's what, mm. never go that yeah. way i guess <laughs> Uh, there's some I, good content out there about well, like what a piece of shit Tim Pool is and like like how he kind of got his start and how he basically just lied his way to becoming a millionaire and pretending to be a journalist and it's it's kind of crazy. I mean, he just has dumb take. Can I put something out there? What if we're not actually breathing air? How, how, what do you feel about that? I mean, he just asked the dumbest fucking questions, the most yeah. contrarian, middle of the road bullshit. Yeah. I'm not saying it. I'm asking a question. That's the same <laughs> game that Joe Rogan plays and all these other guys. Yep. My favorite thing that Tim Pool ever did was the uh, whenever he he says, you know, I I, I don't uh, I just don't have any interest in, uh, in in any women or anything. I just I'm, I don't date. It's like, and then he goes, um, but I know it's not me. It's everybody else. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. not you at all, right? I choose uh, to have never had a girlfriend. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was. Um, yeah, there's a whole thing. Snitch well, you know what? by Wall Street. I cannot so, wait for Tenant Media. It's going to be something, right? Like, we can at least maybe make fun of something there. It's yeah. definitely well, not going to last long. They're going to make their money and peace out of it. Yeah, I was going to say, what, what benefit do they individually have for doing this? I mean, there has to be another, like, okay, okay, wait, wait, hold on. Are they experiencing Chudpocalypse too? Is that why they're doing this? Because they're seeing diminishing returns on their individual platforms? I mean, probably. To, like mm -hmm. to some degree, I would assume so. Yeah, I mean, because look, uh, we can look at that a little bit. I, I don't know if we how much we wanted to look at any Chud Apocalypse stuff, but we I have plenty do... of uh, we have a huge horror monster tier list. I think we could do a couple of minutes on a on Chud Apocalypse. Cool. Uh, because I I found a uh, an article about I guess some new stuff that YouTube has been doing that maybe will explain a little bit. Uh, oh, you have you have an article. That's interesting. Oh wait, wait, where the fuck? Or do you not have one? Did you? Are, I thought I did. God damn it! Oh, I, no. I thought I did. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know where it went. Well, well, that's the thing, Anthony. Is that that um, critical? No, was it critical drinker? Was it? No, it was nerdrotic. Tried to use AI to to make their own script or whatever, and it ended up. I think Bob's the one that called this out. They ended up, yeah, getting it wrong. They thought that that he was being genuine on his opinions yeah. and stuff instead of like grifting, which I think is hilarious. Mm. Yeah, it came like he did like neurotic script on the strike. And it's it like they don't understand how, deception. Yeah. They don't understand human deception, yeah. um, which I think yeah. is yeah. funny. Well, it, it, assumed, let's... it assumed he was pro strike and pro worker. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've just... got like uh, three or four or five ex like quick examples of Chud Apocalypse we can look at. So, uh, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt anything, but no. no, no. I, I'm going to assume that someone out there is trying to build a alt right like AI, but at that point, it's not really AI. It's just something that spits out what they wanted to spit out so yeah yep. yeah and i know so far like the whole like like why are they doing this now and is it because they're probably like seeing that any like downfalls and i think definitely because usually i feel like when like influencers on the internet or like personality and stuff like do new things right it, like like they it can be through creativity but these people don't have like right. creative vision they don't they don't have this like creative need to do new cool projects, right? Mm -hmm. So I think definitely when you see something new, it's like this is the new big thing. It's because they need a new big thing to keep well, relevant. Yeah, because be, to be to fair work. here, as much as I dislike him, Tim Pool Tim Pool's platform is big enough that he doesn't need to work with anybody else. There's no reason unless yeah. he's experiencing a financial hit somewhere. Exactly. Um, actually, most of the people in that video don't need each other. It's really weird that they would, you know. Yeah, I think that they must, you know, smell the, an ending on the horizon. It's maybe maybe years from now, but like they're probably seeing some kind of like small dip in, you know, whatever. So Once you expand to a certain point, this is like you see this with uh, franchises like fast food places and restaurants and hotels and stuff. Once you expand to a certain point, you have to maintain that mm -hmm. amount of money coming in to, to keep everything afloat. So if they're experiencing even a minor hiccup, that means something has to give. Because they can't yeah. continue to do that. Um, so, like for example, John Campia, who's not necessarily in in the Chud sphere or whatever, um, was trying to do a lot of stuff. Channel expanded, all that, and then noticed that that the money wasn't there, and slowly kept cutting back, cutting back, cutting back to the point where I think he's not even doing anything like um, the content he was doing before. 
uh, because of that. So it, it's not just something that happens to like obviously chuds, but chuds are experiencing it now because that promise of like something failing just isn't paying off. Like nothing is failing. Nothing is not like how long can you say that before people are going to, uh, hopefully some people are going to go, Oh, well this is never happening. So why am, I, why am I tuning into this all the time? Why am I going there and <laughs> being a part of it? Which I think is funny. Um, uh, Eric July did a live stream uh, this past week. It's funny yeah, I have. Uh, uh, but he uh, he said, why would I want to make content that lives in misery all the time or something like that? And I'm like, dude, are you not fucking paying attention <laughs> to the stuff you're making? No self-awareness. Well, yeah. Yeah. I was just thinking that. <laughs> um speaking of eric july though uh i got this uh okay. this thing here oh so, yeah <laughs> uh are you cool with me showing this because it is yeah just, yeah yeah, absolutely like, okay. yeah because because i'm the one that mentioned it the first time so i kind of noticed it when i clicked on his channel the other day well i mean just because it's this literal screenshot from yeah yeah i don't care so, okay no. just want to make sure i've been in trouble for things like that um yeah. so yeah, uh, he lost another thousand subs. Go ahead, you can go ahead and explain that since you've <laughs> been watching. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I was keeping an eye on his channel numbers because remember, I, I did, I was doing this with all the Chud channels when we were first talking about the Chud Pocalypse going through to um, the Wayback Machine, basically, and looking at all of the different channels to find out what their numbers were, where they were. And I found out that Eric July started out with a, he had a pretty good sized channel. Uh, before COVID, but then COVID hit and obviously like the channel blew up and uh, a lot of them did that. Nerd Rotic was another one that got really big during COVID. Um, Melanie Mack, a lot of those channels. And at the beginning of this year, Eric July was at four, 514 uh, K subs. And then about two months ago, I noticed that it was down to 513 K, which is when we started talking about the Chud Apocalypse. And then as of like two days ago, um, he was down to 512k uh, subs, and he's also a bunch of channel or video views went away. And this is something that I didn't notice. I somebody in his chat said this that like what happened to these videos or whatever. Um, he's been removing videos, and I don't know which ones they are. But if I had to guess, it is related to the lawsuit because we know that that the ISA Ministry is following a bunch of accounts uh, related to Eric July and and uh, you know keeping tabs on that. So I'm assuming that's what it's about. It's actually smart that he did it. If that's what he did, it's smart, but I, I think they probably already seen them. Like to be completely honest, he, they might've probably, you know, might've probably maybe, I don't know, but I would, I feel like they, they most likely saw these videos already because they've already put together their uh, lawsuit. Oh, you're muted, Dane. <laughs> the way that the guy uh, talked about it, he kind of, you know, hinted at it in his, uh, his response, the, the actual ISOM guy, um, he, he kind of said that like he was aware of, or he did say he was aware of a lot of the, the shit that Eric gets into online. So like, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they did some, some looking around and, and yeah, saw um, I, I want to point out that there's a lot of channels experiencing some level of like diminishing returns right now. And I've said this before, it's not just unique to like this group of people, but the thing is they, they were for the longest time immune to normal diminishing returns because of the fact that their channels were so hyperbolic and, and, you know, and and aggressive uh, when it comes to going after these topics so to see like him and other people with visual proof that their channels are are slowing down is quite significant and i'm seeing them less than recommended too which i think is a is a big deal um so i don't know what it, what article you're talking about that kind of discussed it but um i don't know if that had anything to do with it or not um so uh, just out of curiosity i looked up something real fast uh so uh if you're curious to watch the the debate I had with Eric July, my channel is now the only place to watch it. <laughs> oh, 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 weird. So there there are a couple of channels that have been sort of okay right now, but then there are things that they're doing that tell me that something is not up to par. Like Nerd Rotic is a channel where typically he gets more views per video than he has subscribers, which is highly unusual. I want to point this out. Mm -hmm. Most channels. Most channels do not see more views per regular video than they have subscribers. It is a very mm -hmm. unique thing that almost looks sketch to me. I'm not accusing him of anything, but it looks very sketch to me. But the fact that he's also grifting coffee tells me that something is not right in the water. Because you don't grift coffee 
if your channel views are doing good. So I don't know if Critical Drinker is doing the same thing or not, but something is definitely off about a channel that consistently gets more video views and they have subscribers. I'm just telling you right now, that is an unrealistic thing that just does not happen. Yeah, speaking of uh, grifting coffee because uh, things aren't going too well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, quartering, not doing too well. <laughs> no. You know, imagine that. I mean, look, I guess there's a little bit of like justice in the universe just a little bit that like he didn't gain a big following whenever he started getting sp openly sponsored by nazis you know mm -hmm. what i mean i, I was kind of wondering about that i was like oh no is he just gonna like all the nazis gonna flock to him or but no i think they're already following him now they're bored i don't know yeah i mean 11 million views a month is still it's still a fucking lot but yeah, yeah uh, i guess i think he, he is doing i mean he he fight. cried online i don't know i don't That's know exactly true, yeah. what he said but he was crying online about people not watching his videos and he wanted to yeah. know what they wanted to see like like when you're in the grift tube sphere you don't do that that that's like blood in the water you don't say something like that I got um, that right here he even posted a photo it looks like with him and his wife so he's like look yeah. i'm just a regular guy why do you hate me haha <laughs> well just kidding sort of like insecure girlfriend mode you know what i mean i, I love um, that he says the quiet part out loud since the strike is brought it brought in less woke cringe and the war videos are dividing lots of fans what topics am i missing so he's admitting out loud that the strike has affected them which we've been theorizing mm -hmm. for months now and this is someone that has he has a direct obviously a direct line to his to his uh analytics he knows what's happening because he's been gaming the system for a really long time that's pretty much what he's been doing, like the rest of the Chud channel. So, well, I mean, what if, what if it's like, what if he doesn't though? Like, if you think about the fact that all he's had to mm -hmm. do for years is essentially the same framing of, maybe. of whatever the fuck it is, that maybe he doesn't actually have an operative understanding <laughs> of how to. <laughs> Dane, I also know. think it's funny. He's talking about coffee yeah. here, which we just talked about the fact that they've been mm -hmm. pushing coffee because they they're not getting enough views on their videos and, like. I know that their that their fans come in and and say that oh we're coping or whatever. We don't say stuff because we don't actually believe in what we're saying. When I say that they griff coffee, I mean that they griff coffee. That's what they're doing. Like yeah. they're literally doing it. Dane put mm -hmm. together a graphic about it. We've talked about this. That is part of the game that they do. That's that's how they manipulate people. It's it's the it's the process. It's the magic. It's the man behind the curtain kind of shit. Yeah, um, I got that graphic right here. As a matter of fact, um, so. Clearly, something's not popping. Yeah, yeah, and it's like in case you missed this, this is this is what uh, quartering is doing. Different company, and this is not the company that Nerd Rodic's using either. But it's the same shit. It's called a uh, uh, drop shipping. You just you, you literally don't even have to touch any coffee. Uh, I imagine they probably would order some just to try it or something. But like uh, maybe they, you know, maybe, <laughs> or maybe, just, maybe maybe to put it to put it behind them on the wall or something maybe to yeah. have it in frame so but i mean all you got to do is have uh, some money and then they just handle all of the actual shit that's involved with like making producing packaging selling uh you know shipping all that you just pay them a little bit of money and then you get to say hey i've got a coffee company you know got mm -hmm. coffee fucking just these guys this is what happens when you don't have any talent or skills and you've you've kind of coasted by on grifting the way that they have for years and it's like it's honestly probably kind of fucking a little bit of existential panic to some degree if you're one of these mm. guys and you're looking at your stats and you're like oh fuck they're not going back up well think <laughs> about this also think about this when you've been doing this for so long and this is your resume once this goes away what do you do because you're not going to get a job working for like a major brand or anything like that. You might get one of these like alt-right brands or whatever, but you're not going to work at any major companies where they're going to respect you. They're going to look at your content and be like, dude, what the fuck were you doing? Mm -hmm. There's yeah. there's nothing there. You know what I mean? It's well, yeah. and, and, and comics gate seems to be kind of desperate too, because yep. you know, they're doing stuff like this, uh, you know, for some reason, <laughs> just like dude i you know, nobody... i exclusively read comic books with sodomy exclusively right <laughs> yeah um it, it's just weird and then you know but then of course uh Della rose that uh, he went ahead and pulled the mask all the way off as if he didn't already have his mask all the way off um yeah did you see that that follow-up one dj where he said this is literally what it's what it's about is yeah. uh yeah you know, like I mean... gay people yeah, yeah, I, I, I have that in my video. I use the screenshots of it, but I talked about it that for the longest time they've paraded around that they just want better writing, and that's never been the case. We've been saying for a long time that these channels are inherently political, 
social channels that use fandom as a as a way to you know continuously marginalize people um and there's a look i want to put this out there there's a reason why that guy isn't on like all of those different streams yeah. he is a loose cannon and they don't want him saying stuff like this they, they genuinely do not want him speaking for them because this goes against what we've talked about in order for them to convince people to buy into what they're selling they have to give them the diet version of this he's like no more diet version we're going full alcohol like this and is well, here and here's the thing though he's he's uh i did the here's the thing uh sorry he uh actually i got to i'm sorry because i got a special halloween one here's so. the thing you gotta be fucking kidding <laughs> so, uh he uh he works for uh bounding into comics yeah. so basically all the guys that that use bounding into comics as a source yeah which is pretty much all of them that you know it, you can kind of just pretty easily tie them to this and like okay we know like that you this is what you mean i mean we knew it anyway but like you, you got your guy right here just flat out saying it so you, you yeah he goes he goes our side what who do you think he means by that he means all of these fucking grift tube channels all these guys on the internet that do this to backpedal and say oh it's woke it has bad writing rather than addressing the real problem that makes woke disgusting glorifying sin is the problem so i mean do we need can we pack it up are we done here i mean this literally is like they he is admitting that everything they're doing is a lie. Yep. Yeah. Well, I mean, then they they accused us of doing hater speech one time. Uh, Someone may think that just saying, uh, actually, the stuff you believe is really harmful and fascist and, and and shitty, and you're a bad person. But that's not hate speech. Hate speech is like sh is is going after a group of people you don't even know, just large yeah. groups of people f for ways that they are born. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You can choose, John. You can choose to not be a piece of shit Nazi today. You're not going to, but you could choose it. Yeah. Yep. I'm not giving this guy credit, but I do appreciate that he finally just said it because this is something that I've been waiting for them to admit. And I want to give myself a little credit as well. Like a couple months ago, I said, we're just going to see them become more and more <laughs> radical as they become desperate because the views aren't happening for them. And mm -hmm. here we are today. Um, this isn't the end of it. They, they are going to destroy their own platform by self-admitting. That's what they're going to do. They're going to, they need to not speak without a lawyer at this point because it's, it's happening. We're seeing it with this. We're seeing it within the comic skate circle. Comic skate is infighting now because of all the stuff with EVS and Eric July. Um, well, and now Ethan is, uh, he's also, apparently he's decided to take up a second job as Fred Durst. So <laughs> I wasn't expecting that desperation. Um, what a twist. What a twist. Yeah, it's it's really weird. it's it's an interesting time for that circle. I, I I honestly did not think we'd have this perfect storm of like Chud Pocalypse all happening at the same time, but it is sort of just happening. Um, uh, I've got a really really juicy one for, for you, and then we can move on here. But like yep. this one's too fucking good. Uh, okay. So Ripperverse, you guys heard of that shit? No. Um, that one of the uh, things that that Eric July has like clearly since the beginning tried to develop is you know the the value of the secondary market for his comics right which is just absurd like that's not something you cultivate ahead of time you know but like you, little things like on number two the issue two uh, it said at the bottom like the int you know introduction of these characters or whatever the, you know the, these anticipated characters collector's item for and it's like that's not how a debut character you know is is presented you, you wait until the character is popular and then you go oh yeah that's a collector's item now you don't like call it a collector's item ahead of time but it just goes to show that he's trying to create this fucking inf you know inflated market and and I, i've had some questions about the ebay sales it's pretty much since ISO number one uh you know that like eh, something seems kind of fishy but either way whether it was a real uh market or not it's not fucking real anymore mm. uh so this is isom number two cover c was the foil variant limited to five thousand copies which is way too many uh with a price mm -hmm. tag of a hundred dollars and a speculator sold three copies of it for 110 dollars mm. plus shipping like and then there's other examples too uh we don't go into them now but like there's you know examples of, a, of what should be theoretically based on how eric and, and these people talk about it a, a book that's worth at least a hundred dollars or something like that and it's sold for like 30 or 20 or some shit uh it's nobody cares about this shit this is not something that people value it's just not um 5, copies of this is fucking absurd 
And uh, that's Shane Davis's cover, by the way. And he's uh, apparently seems kind of regretful for having even. Yeah, I saw that where, that back and forth he had with someone about that. No, it it it's, it does seem insane. Hull, here's a limited issue for for I some limited cover five thousand. Mm-hmm. Holy yep. crap! That's like a so quarter of the sales. What? And like. A- that's that's Eric's ego just fucking got a you know got ahead of him right like he made a good amount of money off of a lot of merch and stuff too but like that first time and then he goes oh well you know let's uh <laughs> make five thousand copies of this because people are gonna buy the shit out of it I don't know uh this is pretty funny though this is actually Shane Davis the guy that drew this uh this cover thank you so much for having this on and dude it is always good talking shop with you and talking comics oh, with man, you all day you, you have so much wisdom uh in this field and the things that are going on it's just great talking to you about this stuff and shane i appreciate you so much for joining us i uh, do i love talking to you appreciate you he just doesn't look he happy. Seems so genuine in, in it mm-hmm. yeah it doesn't seem like I think, his soul he, I think he all. seemed. I think he mentioned he wasn't happy about his cover being like the hundred dollar item or yes, something like that so he did yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, Shane Davis is not the kind of guy that can pull hundred dollars for uh, covers. Like he did, one, he's done one thing that I know of that I've read, uh, which was Superman um, uh, Earth One back in the day. Mm. Of course, he is Byron. Of course, he is Byron. Not surprised. Yeah, you know. So there's plenty of examples of Chud Apocalypse. We might do some uh, some some content on that before too long. We got some pre-recorded videos we're going to be working on soon that will be going up on the initiative yeah. channel. Um, so stay tuned for that. But uh, unless anybody has anything else, then it's about that time, I suppose. It is about time to rank some horror icons. Hell yeah! I'll be Let's back in just it. thirty seconds. Oh. You know, I'm surprised you didn't change it to actual horror for the month of October. That would have been. That would have been yeah, cool. I, All right. I thought about it. You know, I put a lot into the, doing that type of stuff uh, last year. Like I had, you know, a bunch of specific branding and stuff on my channel. And then just, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I just, it's been a fucking weird couple of weeks. I'll say that, you know, yeah. both uh, content wise and then just in my life. So I haven't had the, yeah, the was- energy, I suppose. It was a couple of years ago. I had my friend make a horror version of my my theme song, and I barely used it this year. <laughs> I did. I did make this though. Gordy is S tier. I love how you were um, grifting off of Gordy. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah. All right. So are we you ready for the any tier money list? off it? It's grifting. <laughs> rank. Let's rank some shit. Let's rank some fucking yeah. horror horror killers, villains, guys. There's dudes. like two or three guys for us to rank, right? Yeah. At least. Yeah. Some Dra- <laughs> Dracula, Freddy. I can't think and... of any other ones. And, and Batman. I, I don't guess. I, I didn't think about this till I put the shirt on. I guess we didn't get killer clowns from outer space, right? No. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, listen, you, you, I will not hear anything from you guys for anything I've missed because I, I, I asked. <laughs> the mm-hmm. chat, the chat can go off on me, but all right. Um, so here we have the list. So our five main topics 
or no, not topics. I'm, I'm uh, tears. So at the top, we have Goat, the greatest of all time. These are our absolute favorites. After that, we have Iconic. These are very great horror icons, but not our favorites, right? But we can appreciate their legacy. Next, we have Scary. This is like the good tier, you know, like just a good old scary, good horror icon. Then we have It's a Horror Villain, I guess, which is kind of like the <laughs> meh. You know, it's like, eh. It's it there. <laughs> yeah. And then if there's one we ones we actively hate, there is the hate topic. And yeah, so we have a bunch to go through. So does anyone have anything before we begin? I'd like to add these fucking ads that are on screen right now to the, the ones that I hate. Oh, yeah. yeah I, 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 I also hope you guys can appreciate the Danish. I don't know. What why. does the car have to do with anything? <laughs> well, I could try to... These songs are actually pretty good, man. What are you fucking? Oh, sort of oh, they there's new ones. You know what? Oh, you guys are just gonna get free ads, all right? At least, at least it's sexy people this time. You know exactly. <laughs> you guys want some some BB four eighty unis? Oh, no, goes by. It's, too, it's going too fast. Yeah, by the way, I, I can guarantee I can, that's mm. not actually Nike. That's probably some rip off. Oh yeah, no way. <laughs> it's, a, it's the Danish rip off version. <laughs> Yeah. Um all right. Anyways. All right. So how do you how do you propose we do this? Just kind of just go through the list that we got there and just go through the line. list and then, then we discuss yeah. and we gotta as usual try to try to become uh try to be do do we want to set up any pra parameters uh, on the outset or just kind of fucking what, wing it as we go? What are you thinking for like a I don't know. Um like, so I firmly believe in winging it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And there's going to be inconsistencies, and I and the fun is going to come in us disagreeing, right? Um, I guess like this one, the scary one is also like good, right? Sometimes there's a good horror villain that doesn't necessarily scare you that much, but it's like it's still good. Basically, it's just our favorites in this order, right? Favorites, almost favorites, like them, eh, and despise. You know? Okay. Yeah, and and there's probably going to be more towards the top just because most of them are more well known icons, you know. But but I've I've tried to go for some some that are a bit yeah less known. All right, so so Jason Voorhees, um, Jason Voorhees, for for as oh, iconic as he oh, is, he's not, on. in my opinion, he's uh you know, and I'm somebody that like. Grew up watching the shit out of a uh, you know Friday the Thirteenth movies, Nightmare on Elm Street. You know, I was I was in all that shit. Is like way too young. Um, mm -hmm. But hey, Jason Turf, is just kind of. Turf, can you blow up the, the screen a little bit? Sorry, Dane. Uh, people are saying they can't see the the screen. True. Let me okay. let's see if we can. Uh, that might be my. Look, what we can do here is maybe that. Um, is that better or... for everyone? Nope, not that. Well, that's. Not... Um, I, I'm messing with uh, the 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 kind of settings here right now. Fuck. Yeah. That might be all right. I'm. Yeah, let me let me edit this uh this layout real quick and see what I can do. <laughs> but you're saying with Jason, yeah. I guess. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't put him. I wouldn't put him in goat. I wouldn't put him in goat. Like I no. wouldn't put him there. Um, yeah. Not well, at all. like, like essentially, you had the Halloween, the first Halloween movie, which was iconic, and we'll definitely get to that today. But like, and then you had Friday the Thirteenth, which was like cool but was like the 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 knockoff and i i don't mean to insult it because it really that wasn't even identity, jason that was his mother knockoff yeah yeah i mean jason is essentially a glorified zombie story i mean that's pretty much what he is he's just a Matt, until the fourth movie though um like because he's you know supposedly yeah he, he was he was like a person for the first few movies but but he yeah. acts well, like a fuck. He's, no, he no, was no, yeah. pretty much a zombie from the get-go because he was that is a true dead kid that rose from the but, but like it, it became more and more supernatural. True, as true, on. true. Mm -hmm. I like the one yeah. where he's in space. <laughs> Fuck yeah, oh, Jason it's, X. Isn't... Yeah. yeah, that one. I mean, look, yeah. there's there's it's fun in, in these movies, the good ways. right? Like, they're fun. There's... Oh yeah. Well, like I would argue, like Jason, one of his best ones is Six, which is pretty much just a comedy. Um, yeah. He's probably one of the only ones I would argue for that. I would say he's he's iconic to me. I mean, I feel like he's yeah, an icon. I, yeah. But he's but he's not goaded. 
Not yeah, at all. I, I, he, I can't quite put him as goat, but I definitely say iconic because like he used to be one of my three, and he's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. He used to yeah, be one of he... my favorites because I just I loved those movies, but like he he doesn't have much going for him other than just like the coolness factor. He was one of my you know, favorites, like the cool but then kills. I grew up and I saw more horror movies. <laughs> you know. Mm, yeah. <laughs> all right, so I think we're all in agreement that like iconic is a is a good. I I'm comfortable putting him on iconic. Yeah. 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 I'm, that's yeah. where I'm at too. Next up, we have Dane. No, sorry. Uh, we have the predator. <laughs> which one? Which one are we looking at here? Because there's so many different predators. Are we talking about the OG one from like the original movie? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, so I, I get, yeah. Like, I guess the one we want it to be. Because there's some of these where it's like I, I haven't gone for that many different versions. Because I'll be honest, Look, the predator, the predator from Prey, got his ass whipped. But I mean, there's yeah, like did, uh, yeah. this one. I'm gonna say I'm gonna I mean, put that dude in goat. Yeah, I really? think predator for me is a goat. I, I think yes. like. The Predator slash Alien franchise for me, just, it's, you can't, those two are unique, and I, I haven't seen anything come along and, and make them better, basically, so I would say it's goaded for me. Wow, I, I was leaning more towards uh, uh, iconic or even scary, uh, as mm. much as I, I, like, here's what I love about the Predator, especially the first one, is that essentially it takes a whole bunch of muscle-bound, like, superheroes and turns them into a bunch of final girls um well i guess there's only one final girl played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, <laughs> but i love that aspect of it i love that like it's just so we, we have two goat and and, and wait, some. Any wait so if we have two goat and a somewhat scary and a somewhat iconic yeah i think I'm that kind of, they yeah, have to I'm go much iconic, than right? you guys i, I guess uh, uh no look no look I'm, I'm saying this because yeah as greg says we got stan winston designed it okay we've got uh, a genre fucking defying film right is it science fiction is it horror is it action it's all of them motherfucker it's all of them is it, get to, is it get to the chopper i mean it's, it's like is get it to it? the chopper i mean you know a little bit of comedy in there for that one yeah um it's a it's it's a movie about like in the, in the eighties. John McTiernan he had two movies back to back that he did this where he uh, Die Hard and this where he kind of circum like he he undermined the the genre tropes the action tropes of like the muscle bound mm -hmm. male hero with uh, more obviously with uh, Bruce Willis and Die Hard. But in this case, you know, literally all of the big muscle bound fucking guys with guns couldn't stop the thing. They're just getting wasted mm -hmm. left and right. It's only whenever yeah. Schwarzenegger slowed down, fucking used mm -hmm. his his big giant muscle brain. Was he able to like? I think that 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 deserves to be goat. I, I, I mean, feel the same way. I don't know if that's going to convince Bob though. He seems like he's still not. Yeah, I don't know. understand what your deal is, Bob. Why, why, <laughs> why are you... Personally, I was I was originally at thinking of like an iconic. Oh. Um, but then I heard you guys talk about goat, and I was like, I can get behind that. But then I heard Bob say scary, and I was like, you know what? Look, if if we the, the... if we can't put predator on goat uh, this this early on i'm gonna be thrown off the rest of the fucking list because i don't know <laughs> i don't know what anything means after this i'm also i'm also for like the amount of like pop culture fucking significance has had and like the memes i'm i'm fine with goat Pre predator is just really I, cool I think design. i'm getting outvoted guys i mean I'm... yeah sit your ass down bob are you mm. thinking about the sequels bob stop thinking about the sequels <laughs> well predator i think actually has well, he got his ass sequels, by a except girl. for the 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 uh, yeah there's the some good predator ones. that one was right that yeah right now predator 2 is good it's enjoyable all right yeah, i love predator the discussion two, predators uh prey solid movies mm. but yep, if this yep. is not going to take a while we, uh, just just yeah, no, we, we, yeah I was saying we have to like burn through <laughs> this yeah. sorry, yeah. sorry sorry all sorry. right <laughs> next up we have annabelle uh i'm so oh, scary for me literally haven't seen it so i don't know She's scary to me. I, I know she know, might be considered iconic. She's definitely not goat. Definitely. No, no, I no, mean, no. I'm, I'm like very against putting her in these two. Yeah. I, I, I scary I, at best yeah. for me. But like, I almost want, like the first movie sucked. And then the second one was actually decent. But like, yeah, I don't know. She's not even I, like the I, best I like doll Chucky on this way list. more. <laughs> yeah, same. I was like, <laughs> um, you guys are going to notice that I you, I get I have much less to say on these more more recent like sinister whatever fucking insidious whatever yeah. conjuring universe yeah. movies that mm -hmm. there are because I just don't care for them. Uh, I'm um, comfortable well, wherever you want to put her except for hate or goat anywhere else. I'm, been, good I'm in between been, these two like scary. Like, that's a horror villain, I guess. The conjuring was good. And then there's these spinoffs. And like for the most part, the spinoffs have sucked. That's yeah. true. That is true. Yeah. 
The things I'm fine with putting it in scary for now, but I also could see it going down. I'm not going to argue for scary. This... So you know, I I would actually argue for it's a horror villain. I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could go with that. Yeah. I was thinking first putting it here and then waiting to see what it's up against in this. Yeah, year, yeah, we might want to move it because I mean it is a creepy doll, but like how much weight do you want to give that? There's lots of creepy stuff here. <laughs> we've got a, yeah. we've got a, be- we've got a better creepy doll in this list. So exactly, yeah, think, think you know about I mean? that for a second. So yeah. So what are we? For I'm now? gonna say horror villain for me. I, I, I really, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm down with that. I'm yes. fine. All right. Yeah. Next up, we have Jigsaw. I, I know this is like Billy the Puppet, but jigsaw from saw go with uh, for him he, per- personally I mean, for me and this complex, is very subjective yeah. yeah i'd put him in goat because he was like me and my brother's like fucking icon as 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 children okay and we made our own saw movies so you know what? i'm a little bit biased <laughs> what so... i would yeah we, we gotta have a talk <laughs> about that later on but um <laughs> you made your I, own what <laughs> i told myself from the start if i ever reached a million subscribers i'd show them but Oh my no. god! What? <laughs> Those are something else. But um, okay. So I'm a little bit biased. So, so l- let me say I'm, I'm going to say iconic because uh, you know, I, although you know the sequels or whatever they are, but like the first movie that I, when I saw it, watched it with my older brother, and we were adults. You know, when that came out, you mm-hmm. were like what a little toddler or something, sure. Um, but like, dude, th- we weren't really super impressed by the movie. But then you get to that last fucking scene, mm-hmm. and we were both just like what the fuck whenever he fucking yeah. stands up you know and he's like oh, game over bitch or whatever and i was like no okay so that that should kind of it, it i won would me over. say yeah. for me at the very least he's iconic um yes. but i would yeah. not argue against goat if people feel personally connected to him in that way but i would say yeah, at I the very I, least he's iconic i mean like, I'd, I, if 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 i'm the only one who thinks it should be goat then i don't want it to be you know it's it's like that thing it's not that strong but it's like Personally, for me, I'm like, yeah, he's goaded. I cannot like, argue against him being iconic because Jigsaw has like spun off so many people wearing costumes mm-hmm. and making like yes. different versions of this character. So definitely yeah. iconic. So for sure, he's definitely a more original spin on the the serial killer thing that we've seen so many times in movies, like the over yeah. complex traps. Well, I mean, we can always right. we could sit in iconic until we get to- towards the end and see if maybe you want to move it around. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. The fact it, that there's it, another it, movie out now, apparently involving him, when he was supposedly died like five movies ago. I uh, know. You know, that's what that's one of my biggest complaints with the Saw franchise is that they killed him off too early, mm-hmm. and they know that, but they're just not rebooting it for some reason. Well, so I it's just... it's still his plan. Like five movies after he's fucking died. <laughs> well, I think it's wild how he like, keeps keeps on looking older even though we keep on flashing back to him being yeah younger. true I mean, like when he was weird. like they flash back to him as like a 20 something guy and he looks like he's in his 50s yeah. it's so, yeah. it's fucking so hilarious. funny when they they just put him in a beanie yeah that was hilarious <laughs> he's probably like six hello years old. Oh, young that people. was that was like that was like peak peak campiness there that was great yeah that was great cool uh yeah it's okay. it's ridiculous hello fellow kids that's what i felt like yeah. when i saw that. I was like, <laughs> but yeah i'm fine with putting him in iconic okay all right. Next, we have the Anaconda from Anaconda. Okay, I was wondering what that was. I was like, what is this picture? It's I've very low res. I've never but seen it... these. Oh, my God. I'm going to put, like... <laughs> okay, initially, <laughs> when I first saw it, it was scary. I feel like it is a scary villain. Um, yeah. But I don't know if it's unique. or, or You know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it's one of those... Like, like, there's multiple of, like, the big animal... Horror yeah, I would this put this one. in a horror villain, I guess. I mean, it is scary, but it also doesn't have a lot of identity. So yeah, it's it's not bad enough that I hate it. You know, no, I don't hate it. I, it's I think just, it's it, it does. You know, yeah, and it is like I'd be fucking terrified of a massive snake, whereas some of the others on this list, I would like. Obviously, any of them, I would freak like I'd shit my pants. But like, <laughs> just the thought of them, like a massive ass snake, I uh, yeah. I yeah. mean. I remember seeing that movie and being like entertained and not like a scary way at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's definitely not scary. <laughs> That's why I said like, like when I was seeing in the theaters, I was a little like, Oh my God, but it was more jump yeah. scares than anything. I don't think yeah, jump scares exactly. count. No. All right. Next up we have Candyman. At least iconic. I feel yeah, like at the, least for, for like the B scene alone. Yeah. That. Yeah. 
This is another one I haven't seen. I'm I wouldn't oh, wow. put it above the other two. Like I'd... I wouldn't either, but I would definitely put him in the iconic yeah. category. I can see him at like bottom of iconic for me, at least like thinking about just early on. I could argue goat too if people really felt attached to him. I don't necessarily. I wouldn't yeah. argue my personal opinion. I wouldn't argue goat, but yeah, I can same. see if people wanted to. I feel like he's iconic. Yeah. Anybody else? Bob, mm. Dane. Uh... I don't really have a bow. <laughs> like I wouldn't. I also wouldn't be opposed to moving him down if someone was strong so, against that. But like, well, well, so wait. We're, we're he's, talking he, about. He, he's Sorry. played by Tony Todd, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Go. Go. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I, that's a, a solid argument for me. Um, <laughs> See, I'm I'm a little bit against that. <laughs> Dude, he follows me on Twitter. Go. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, hell yeah. What, what, by the way, did, what did you guys? <laughs> if think any of the of, others uh, want to follow, us? <laughs> what did you guys think of the uh, of the 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 requel that they did uh, that Nia DaCosta directed? Actually? I thought it was really good. I liked I did it too. I um, liked it. Yeah, so I don't have an issue with it. But yeah, I would say he falls in for me. His icon status. Yeah, like yeah. personally for me, I just wouldn't put him above. Like I would Jigsaw put him above Jason. Jason. I'd put him above, yeah. above Jason, but not yeah. Jigsaw. I definitely would not put him above Jigsaw for me. No, because I think Jigsaw is more visually iconic than Candyman is. Even though yeah. he's he has a lot of fans, I'm not going to argue that. But I feel like Jigsaw is artistically it, it you see the stamp more than you do with candy man because what he's got like the 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 hook for a hand or whatever um yeah you know but yeah i don't know um yeah. i guess iconic is good for now we can see yeah i'm fine right. with that go um uh so go. this was the next, what next is one this? yeah no one really likes it um what is it i Never can't really... tell what is it Oh, it's it's uh it's is xenomorph, it from, xenomorph a movie, from like an oh, indie movie called yeah. Alien. Goat. Oh, goat. Yeah. absolutely, so I guess, I, a fucking goat. Like, yeah, goated. we all hate it, right? I don't. Yeah. I don't actually think there's any discussion to be had. It just goes and yeah. goes. Yeah, yeah. Like, it is just the like the design. The Geiger design is just the, amazing. Yeah, fucking, like, yeah. like it uh, is the perfect creature design. Just oh perfect. my god, it it's is really terrifying good. in every aspect. I love it. It's tongue game strong though. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, let me I mean, uh, let me pull up the one that I did of a uh, DJ here in a second. I mean, was there any oh, doubt? It was so be, good. Was there going to be any doubt that it was going to be goat for me? This was literally my choice for it, my, yeah. Uh, that let that Photoshop is so good. Get away from her, you bitch! I just I love every one of these early Alien movies except oh, for yeah. three. Oh, the first except two for are three. Amazing. I mean, the, the uh, first two are fucking masterpieces much. in my opinion. Three, the director's cut is the only version you should ever watch of, of the third one. But yeah, I've the never second one is kind of woke. This, the director's cut because the second uh, one is very woke. Strong female yeah, lead. Yeah, it's true. Much. Yeah, true. She gets inside of a lifter. It's just too uh, woke. What is a woman yeah. doing using equipment like that? She uh, can't use that with her small arms. What she? <laughs> Right. But yeah, there there was not much discussion about that. No. Um, uh, how this about is hate, hate, the hate, birds? Hate, hate. <laughs> what do you mean? Hey, it's the dumbest, not... dumbest thing Wait, ever. Are we... Is this the bird? Oh, yeah. is this Alfred Hitchcock? Yeah, yeah. Bird. I love, look, I love Alfred Hitchcock, but I hate I this movie. I hate the bird. I assume I Hitchcock's gonna movies. come up later, and it it will be much higher rated. Like I don't know, this is fine. It's it's a classic, but it never grabbed me. So. I say fuck them birds. <laughs> Fuck them birds! I don't. I'm not. I'm not a, not a see, fan. So let's see. As whenever, like I did, like because this is way past my or, or before my time. But like, well, it's before all. Uh, it's before our time too. <laughs> oh, <laughs> are you Are you guys sure? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> like like they're taking film courses and stuff. Like seeing certain Alfred Hitchcock things. I'm like, damn. There's something about old cinema. This one did not do it for me. No. I was like, what, yeah. what I, I don't know if it's true or not, but I do remember reading somewhere that they were toying around with like new ideas for special effects with this one and it just didn't work mm. out. And I can see yeah. that because it's just not great. I, I yeah, I, I, I look, I'm okay with people putting it in the, the horror villain tier, but I would put yeah. it in hate because I hate this movie. The thing is, I feel like it's a disservice to it to put it here because it's too iconic for this in a way. Mm -hmm. Like, my feelings are way it stronger is a than just movie, but like, like it is. My feelings are stronger towards it than just like a meh. But it's towards the hate, you know. I know. Like I saw. Like I watched this, and listen, I love Alfred Alfred Hitchcock, and this was literally one that just did not grab me. I did not find it memorable. Yeah. I remember even watching the movie he did where that where he did like almost one continuous shot. Mm -hmm. um, that one I thought was way better than the birds, which was you know, and that one's just kind of like almost like a a, 
a project movie. Right. Yeah. Also, just yeah. fuck birds, yeah. man. <laughs> I, I once I once got a, my my penny. Well, I mean, we're gonna get to birdemic shock and terror, right? Because that oh, one's no. good. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> a fucking seagull once stole my panini, and it was like, I hate birds from now on. Um. So yeah, I'm fine with putting it in hate. Cool. Next up, we have that Carrie. Well, but, yeah. Uh. Carrie to me is iconic. It's not my favorite movie, but it is an iconic movie. I yeah. Think. Yeah. It is iconic. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely one of the better early uh, Stephen King adaptations. Um, yeah. Where are we ranking it in here? Uh, well, we, I mean, I always just figure get them in the tiers and then we can sort it out later. Yeah, yeah if we have time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's not much to say about Uh Then we have um, the grandparents from The Visit, if you've watched I it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I mean, they're sc- they're, scary. they're scary. They're okay. scary to me. It is yeah. a scary. They are scary characters. But... Yeah, no, they they're kind of freaky. Those aren't your grandparents. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it's. Oh, uh, I. There's just just funny that. things about the movie, but. Yeah. No, it was. It's definitely one of the more entertaining M Night Shyamalan mo- later movies. Um, yeah. Because he had like two bangers, then Split was pretty good, but like in between, then it's not great. And yeah, this is actually entertaining. It was. Um, it I first put them in scary. I I I like them. It, yeah, I, I won't remotely fun. put it higher than scary. That's the highest I'd put. Them oh yeah, yeah, there. they're they're nowhere near the iconic. Yeah. But like, I'd I'd rather rewatch the visit than these two. I feel like. Uh, I'm gonna try something real quick. Don't yeah, uh, yeah, don't, I would go with that. Don't freak out if this doesn't work. I'm gonna I'll remove it immediately. But just want to see. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, yeah, cool. That's cool, fine. Cool. Yeah. Nah. Oh God, what have you done to me? Oh, I've um, made you. Uh, you're 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 a deadite demon thing from the evil Ash versus Evil Dead. Oh God. <laughs> um. <laughs> or is anyone again scary? What What do you guys want to put it? No, I I'm I'll go scary for that. Um, I'd probably put it a step lower, but I can be talking to scary. Mm. What about? I the think rest? scary is fine because I, I it's definitely not the top two, and I don't think it's bad enough to be in the bottom two. But yeah, yeah, because remember, like this is scary, but also like just good, like a good horror villain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, fine. Next up, we have Winnie the Pooh <laughs> from Blood and Honey. I have not I heard... seen Blood and Honey. I've only heard <laughs> terrible things. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard it sucks really bad. I haven't seen it, but I don't like the design of it. So <laughs> no, the design looks awful. Speak it, for yourself, Artie. Speak for yourself. I'm fucking mortified by it. So I've um, seen it, and it is absolutely good. No, um, yeah, it it's not great. It, there is a cool premise from like the just like the very beginning of like like the whole thought of what happens to the the animals after Christopher Robin leaves, and it's actually quite fucking horrifying what happened but the actual like horror parts of it and like like the whole slasher elements it's just not a very good movie right and i would not so how strong are your feelings towards it i'd say fucking i mean i, I don't have any feelings to yeah i, I personally <laughs> haven't seen it i've heard just shit things about it so i honestly think it's a to. horror villain i guess is the the tier that yeah. this is made for uh, yeah yeah it exists because <laughs> i i could have been all right with people saying hate if there was like if anyone was like a winnie the pooh lover here because it is well maybe once i watch it but yeah <laughs> for anyone that doesn't know winnie the pooh is actually uh you know it's uh you can just anybody can just make a winnie the pooh yeah. thing it um, went public domain almost as soon as it went public domain no, this is made by lucasfilm be Oh, it was made by Lucas. So, okay. <laughs> Directed by George Lucas. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. Next up. Um, yeah, just straight. Um, then we have Final Death. No. Wait, what? So what, this... what, what? Yeah, who was that? Mm. <laughs> this one is for Bob. Oh, that's Ash. So we have Fucking Ash dope. Ketchum. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would I would say goaded on Ash for me. He's personally. the only one who's goat, here. Goat. Here. Goat. Dude, I like I love Evil Dead too, and I love the TV series. Those those and Army of Darkness is pretty funny. Um 
So yeah, I don't have many strong sure. feelings towards Ash, so I'm just gonna go with what you guys. It's Bruce Campbell. How do you not have strong feelings? What? W well, is he Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> I didn't think He's so. Better. He... <laughs> All right. All right. We're going goaded. Next up. So I just searched up death, and this is what I came up with. And Final Destination, and just like the concept of death in it. Oh. I don't okay. know if this is too um, abstract for us. But... It is kind of abstract. Yeah. But, um, not not like death in an act like in, in a like an abstract way, but just only in that series of movies. Like it is kind of like that movie. The the villain is almost like wild coincidences. Like just, yeah, exactly. Just extreme shit that results in these brutal murders. But also, like that shit is one of the things that scares me the most. Just like freak accidents. Mm -hmm. And just like coincidence is killing me, like like a fucking train going past me, and then like mm -hmm. I get my head chopped off somehow. That's I, um, something like actually scares I me. Or scary if, on, it, on it. Yeah, I was gonna say if we're talking about the first one, I would say it was very scary to me. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it like I don't know if you could count that as goaded or iconic, but it's definitely yeah. scary. I mean, there is an argument that Final Destination itself has has uh, become like culturally relevant in terms of people making jokes and and things about mm -hmm. you know this is the final destination for me or whatever yeah. um you know it has done that but i don't know if that's enough to put it in like iconic status i'm so. fine with scary I, like I, yeah I'd, I'd say it's like a good horror icon for me mm -hmm. um that seems reasonable what about you dane uh he he's uh, he's brb <laughs> oh oh never mind then um exorcist oh Oh shit! Yeah, um, the, the, it's the girl top or the two for sure. Shit. Um, yeah. Where do we want to put that? God. I would say goaded, probably either goaded or be iconic. Top two goaded. Like it almost has to. Yeah, be, right? dude. Like, yeah, that little girl saying that crazy shit. Yeah, it's gotta be goaded. And like the the director's cut that came out. That. Oh yeah, that made was it crazy. Even creepier. Oh, the one word yeah. says "shut up, Bob." Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That, 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 that that was a good one. Uh, but the spider walk was just a great addition too just yeah, yeah it, i gotta go goaded on on the exorcist uh little girls yeah. screaming terrible things fucking works and spitting out pea soup, yeah. so much pea soup um all right goaded next we have the baba duke hmm that's been a while the, since i've seen this one that's, not, that's been sort of a joke character i think now people make fun of it um yeah it's it's creepy though. Um, it is creepy. I would yeah. say between scary and iconic, um, definitely yeah. not goaded for me. I, I, I feel don't like... know if it goes iconic yeah. though. Maybe we should save this one for Dane because he was the one who actually suggested it. So maybe okay, he has, yeah, let's like, do that. Feeling yeah. towards okay. it. I'm just gonna put okay. it. Okay, that's back. that's fair. Yeah. All right, Dracula, and I. There's many renditions. I think this is is this the Nosferatu version. I just yeah, just in general, Count Dracula. Does does he? go for like goaded just based purely on legacy like is he like the he most iconic to. just like horror icon i would say ever. close to it yeah i would say right? yeah, like, like what else is up there i don't know what else could possibly compete i mean jesus i mean he is the vampire yeah like like frankenstein is, is also well known but like i don't know if anything is like has the same balls as fucking Dracula. Yeah, yeah. true. Yeah. But is that um, iconic? Like, do, do we personally think it's he's goaded? I think Dracula's I think iconic, but there's so many iterations. I don't know if I'm comfortable putting him in goaded. That's true. Not, yeah. You know, there are some shitty. I mean, which which I version mean, will we be talking exist. about? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel, I feel like he's had so many versions of him that we've seen. I, I feel like iconic is the safest place to, to put him. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if it's based on Hotel like, Transylvania, then... <laughs> yeah but like we, we, like we've had gary oldman as dracula but we've also had adam sandler and we've had whoever the fuck did him in blade three. Oh god yeah uh, it's also kind of like like he's like top of like, like he is the most iconic but i don't i wouldn't personally put him like greatest of all time all right I, next I with that <laughs> next we have the so this is like multiple things but it's from fear street like that trilogy oh um I would say like scary, the, scary to me on that one. Yeah, I, yeah, I'd agree. It's nothing like like too revolutionary, but but I I think it's really cool. It also helps that there's like it's not just this person, you know, right? Like it's all the killers from that trilogy. 
because it's all kind of like it's the same. Are you not familiar with it, Bob? <laughs> no, I'm not familiar. You've okay. not watched Fear Street from Netflix? Nope. Oh, can't blame you. No, it's it's, it's actually. I found it interesting, especially like the whole like it all came out at the same time. The whole trilogy was that the thing where it was like different decades, or was that something else? Yes, yeah, that's the okay. One. Yeah, I remember that sounded interesting, but I never got around to watching it. Yeah, I'm fine with scary. Yeah, I can, I'm good with scary. All right. Next up, we have Frankenstein's monster. That's definitely I. <sighs> yeah, I feel like that's another Dracula thing. We've had so many versions yeah. of it. Yeah. Um, I would put him in iconic 100%. Uh, um, yeah, there's arguments I mean. that some of these characters, like there probably are Frankensteins that you could look back and go, oh, that's goaded. But I don't know if we're, if we're just talking generally Frankenstein as a monster. Yeah. Um, I, I would say iconic is like, yeah, when I think about it, it's iconic, but I wouldn't, I don't get the same feeling towards them as I get for like the fucking xenomorph, you know? Yeah. Right, correct. They're just correct. not on the same level to me. Um, next we have the creeper from Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> I've only seen other people cover these. I've never um, watched one. I actually really liked the first one. <laughs> I thought the first yeah. one was really good. The second one was okay. Um, I don't think iconic or goaded. I would say scary for, for I the put, creeper. Yeah, I put like high up and like yeah. scary. I mean, I know these aren't ranked, but it's just like mm. yeah, like like it's it's a top tier scary. Yeah. Next, we have The Collector. <laughs> have you guys watched it? The Collector. I love it because of this, like, mask he wears, and his lips just stick out of it, and it's... Oh, it yeah, funny. I have seen that. I would... Uh, it's, it's a horror villain, I guess. It's not yeah, very scary it, to me. It's it, For me, it was a very, like... Oh, I was I was with my, my friends. We just, like, ordered a pizza. We were a little <laughs> bit drunk. Let's put on a horror movie, you know? Yeah, it, that's, that's it, what it, it gives me, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next we have Bagul from Sinister. Um, so Sinister used to be one of my favorite oh, horror movies. Oh, wow. Cause yeah, of like, the first one's really good. Yeah. Like, like the whole fucking hidden camera footage and just like the way those murders were done. I was like, damn, that freaked me out. It was never truly like the monster that scared me in that movie. Yeah, that wasn't what I was like. Oh, that's that's like the good part of this. Yeah, no, that, that that this is just a well-made movie. It um, is. Yeah, Sinister is yeah. good. I, I personally I put it in so scary. scary yeah, the, yeah, I don't know. If, the I definitely monster's don't not think, even memorable to me. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think the I don't think it's the monster that you remember when you're watching that. So I would say scary. Yeah, yeah. he is scary, but he's not iconic. Like he's not even the main part of that movie. I say. Mm -hmm. Um. Next, we have the Grudge. Which I feel like these two, like this one and Babadook, we should still wait for Dane because he suggested them. Okay. Yeah. I'm good. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I also have feelings about the grudge, but like, yeah. All right. Norman Bates. Oh, um, probably I, I, either go to like iconic. Both. Yeah. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. So I'm not a fan of Psycho 3. Psycho 2 is super underrated, in my opinion. I thought Psycho 2 is really good. And the original is just fucking amazing um yeah the original is like i feel maybe because we put birds in hate i feel like we need to give alfred hitchcock like his, yeah yeah his, no this one his, i feel comfortable yeah. putting this one and go to 100 yeah, yeah. And yeah anthony perkins performance is just kind of brilliant how he's just like socially awkward and weird but like scary at the same time kind of yeah brilliant i'd agree that's goaded all right, then we have oh. Buffalo Bill from Buffalo Silence Bill. Of the Lambs. Awesome. Uh, dude. <laughs> I love him. I don't know if I'd pipe, quite put him with goaded, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, see, I would awesome, say... Though. He's definitely iconic, but then you got you, you to gotta talk about the, uh, the the problematic nature of the guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He yeah, is there's... also a horror villain. So. They have... They did... Like, it's an interesting Silence of the Lambs, because it's, it's problematic, but, like, they do go out of their way to try to not be problematic but yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it, do it doesn't change the fact that i think that probably created some uh pretty bad uh for sure uh, mm -hmm. tropes in yeah. people's mind for sure maybe for that reason we should put in the hate 
So let mm, probably led to hate crime. I can't quite like he like Ted Levine does a great performance. That's, he is it, creepy as hell, and it's a fantastic. I, I'm I am totally movie. okay with it being iconic because I do think it is memorable. But we just need to yeah. recognize that yeah, it was a problematic uh, performance. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's literally one of my favorite movies. But yeah, it's it's yeah, it's, it's problematic. Yeah. yeah. All right. There you go, Buffalo Bill. All right. Um. Okay, so we have two of the, these that are very. Which this is either. Uh, this is Hills Have Eyes, I think. Oh, the, the remake. Or the original? I don't know. I just searched it. I don't remember. I mean, because honestly, the remake is actually pretty fucking brutal, and uh, yeah, I, mean, I guess the original is too. But like the, the remake, it, it kind of fucked with me. I wasn't expecting it to go that hard when I saw it. Hills Have Eyes is pretty pretty good, and and these people just like are just freaky. Yeah, I will say this: I don't have a particular affinity for any category for them, but I'm totally comfortable with like anything above scary. I think, depending on where you guys want to go with it. Yeah, I mean, I definitely wouldn't put it above scary. I would say they're not iconic, right? Like, if so, iconic yeah. is like if you took one of these and asked like random people on the street, would most of them know what they are looking at? Yeah, kind of thing, like right? like with these ones, I mean, we have Dracula, Jigsaw, Jason, all Frankenstein, right? We can't put like we don't even know <laughs> who they are. We just like, but I still think they're scary. Yeah, they're you know? scary. I go. With yeah, scary. I can't put them higher than scary. Yeah, though. but like, I'm. I would also be fine with like it's a horror villain because I get like their own like status as the icon isn't really what drives those movies. I guess. Mm-hmm. If it makes sense, but I guess that's the same for scary. I guess they're they, scary. They more represent a concept than. Okay, yeah exactly mm-hmm. but so does death so true true yeah all right yeah where's the grim reaper from bill and ted <laughs> yeah so next up we have white people no um <laughs> as oh. i didn't really know what to do for the invisible man so i kind of just oh okay <laughs> what for white um chevy chase i don't know <laughs> gordy get down so there, there's both the older Invisible Man and there's the newer one. I'm trying to think. Um, the newer one was good, but wasn't so much for the villain. Yeah. Kind of just the creepy stalker dude. Um, like, I'm fine with just, just like, well, it's again, it's, it's like, uh, almost like Sinister. It was just a well-made movie. The villain. Yeah, exactly. Or break it. Yeah. Um, like, I'm fine with just, it's a horror villain, I guess. Or scary. I'd go for scary with it, but. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, it's a good movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather watch rewatch that than these. True. True. Yeah, absolutely. True. All right. We're putting it there. Now we have <laughs> why? <laughs> now we have the STD. Oh, from dude, it follows. It follows is. It's oh my god, movie. this is scary as fuck. Like, yeah. I don't know if it's know. good or iconic, but this movie scared the shit out of me. I was like, what is like, this movie? I, like for me personally, this is a goaded. If for me, really? any any movie, and, and there's another one I think that I guess we're about to get to in a second, but like any movie that like I'm not big on ghost movies, they normally don't fuck with me at all, but like there's a couple, mm-hmm. and it's the one where the ghost is just gonna follow you no matter what, it's gonna be there every time you turn around. Like that shit eventually fucking gets under my my skin, and I'm just like, oh god damn it. And this is yeah. uh, definitely one of those. Um, I'd say like, I, iconic in my opinion, but I'd be fine with scary if that's not iconic to others. For me, I'd put I, it in goaded. I was going to say, I, I, don't, I don't... talked up because I just think it's a great fucking movie. Um, I, okay. But for me, yeah. just the, the idea of this thing, right? Like, like the... it. It just is always following you. You never like you can never feel safe. Like and that, then the secondary horror, horror of the horror. only way to get rid of it is to get some get it after somebody else, mm-hmm. right? Like yeah, that's pretty fucking. You know, it, it flips the script. It flips the script and makes that's the protagonist the antagonist. Like it's really interesting. Yeah, exactly. It, does, yeah. it turns so like, you into the villain. Ooh, like for Ooh. me, I, I feel like that's it's almost like above argument. iconic. Like I don't know if I would say it's like necessarily iconic the same way that these are. It's just like it's a goaded. I think it's goaded just from icon. the fact that it did something that we haven't seen in, uh, yeah. in other horror yeah. movies. So, 
I mean, it also it's, helps. It's kind of like how really Saw. It's kind of like how Saw makes the people choose. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. to yeah. kill someone or to be mm-hmm. killed. This movie does the same thing, but I think it's scarier to me because it it's not have yeah, any weakness at all. As far as I know, there right. is no weakness to the thing. You can kind of deflect it a bit, but like for a little while, yeah. Right? No, you you just have to like. I mean, you can th- find somebody you hate and stick it after the person you hate, but that's about all you can do. But with then it's it. still like, going to come after you after. Yeah, that, right? after, yeah. after it kills them, and that. It also has one of my favorite endings of any horror movie. Like the thing where, where they're just walking like hand hand to hand walking down the street. And then in the background, you start seeing something start to follow them. You mm-hmm. have no clue if it's just a random person, but like, yep, that's just scary. As yeah, well. it's like this irrational fear uh, at exactly. play, which is. Yeah. Great. And that just makes it scarier than most of the bees. STD ghost. It's goaded. Mm-hmm. Goaded. Goaded STDs. All right. Then we have. Uh, Jack from uh, the iconic. Ooh. I would put him in iconic. Yeah, for he's iconic for goaded. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, hey, Eric, buddy, why don't why don't you kind of like stop being annoying and and troll in chat and you know actually pay attention to what we're talking about and participate. Uh, um, Jack Nicholson's performance is amazing. Goaded. Um, he is creepy as fuck. Uh, Stanley Kubrick is fucking great. Um, so, side thing here, yeah. but like, what did you guys think of the guy that played uh, Jack Torrance in uh, uh, Doctor Sleep? Like his performance of that. Oh, I thought it. he did a solid job. It's obviously not Jack, but like, right? I don't think he was I trying was to. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. Like do exactly that, but he was kind of you know the spirit of it was there. I yeah. No, that. that movie had like this impossible job that did remarkably well. It was to be a sequel to that movie, but also be faithful to Stephen King, who famously hated that movie. And somehow right. it pulls it off remarkably it well. Yeah. It's a it's a sequel to both the movie and the book in a way. Yeah, uh, it's kind of crazy. Yeah. All right, that's an easy goat. Next <laughs> up, we have the Grudge. And um, I don't have strong feelings. <laughs> Are we talking about the one from the original films or the ones from the U.S. version? Ooh. I mean, I think that it doesn't matter because Japanese I've, I've seen both. In the design and just the concept of it and everything, for me, it's the same in both of them. Uh, okay. I'd say I'd say goaded, but I'd be fine with iconic, just because it, that's another the other one with it follows that fucking just freaked me the fuck out. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be iconic, right? Like, if I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm definitely like, like, I'm leaning towards iconic. I'm trying to remember something. Hold on, let me just look this up quickly. To me, it was like the grudge is the better. Like, there's another one on this list that reminds me of the grudge, but like, if I like, I think the grudge is better. Yeah, I would say either iconic or goaded. I'm good with either one of those. Uh, yeah, personally, yeah. I remember just just that the when I saw that movie the first time. It's such a roller coaster ride and like where it starts and where you end up. Um, yeah. Yeah. So for me, I'm good with either one of those, whichever. So, Dan, yeah. you're leaning towards goat, right? Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, because I'm also kind of in between. So I think if you want to put in goat, I'm fine with it. Yeah. I'm good with that too. Okay. Sure. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, I just remember that movie. Uh, like ev- all the stuff that came afterwards from that movie does sort of lean into the goaded. I think because um, mm-hmm. everyone tried to copy that movie, like it became yeah. like a, a, a genre in itself. Yep. Yeah. Um. Next, we have the Baba Duke. We saved this one for you, Dane. Mm. Um. What's funny is that I, I I added that to the list, but I have not seen the movie. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. We were- we were like, let's save that for Dane. We were like, we should hold off he, on it. Um, no, I've, I've, heard, I've heard lots of people say it's a really good thing. So okay, I've yeah, seen it. it. Has, has anybody it, else seen it? I have yeah, seen no, it, yeah. it's, it's I been think a while. It's, I saw it when it, it came is, out. Yeah. Okay, so the Babadook itself is not really the main thing in the movie. It's more of a psychological film. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But the Babadook does eventually show up. I would say for me, it's not really scary, but... I know iconic is above scary, but I feel like the Babadook itself is more iconic than it is scary, if that makes any sense. Yeah. 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 Um, That's a good one. Like, people, like, you say the Babadook, people have the visual in mind for the Babadook, yeah. even though... I mean, like, I just remember every year that yeah. people say the Babadook is a gay icon or something, which I think is hilarious. Um, yeah. Even though it has nothing to do with that. Yeah. 
Oh, I look good as a xenomorph. I know it came across very well. That's pretty cool. The mm. the, <laughs> just the 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 protraction coming out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> I'm fine with iconic. Like I, I'd, I'd say. Yeah. A, no, a I'm, to I'm totally on Kyana. Yeah. The Babadook. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that works. Um, next up, we have our Lord and Savior, <laughs> Patrick Bateman. <laughs> Oh, oh this gosh. is an interesting one because like Christian Bale does a great performance. I love like obviously he has his discussion on Huey Lewis in the news and Genesis, which is you know fucking great stuff. But uh he doesn't actually kill anybody in that movie. Or does he? Mm. No, he, he, he kind of seems pretty like he doesn't. doesn't. Yeah, he does. Um, I would say also, it's I, I would say scary or iconic for me, only because I think there's an argument for both of those. Um mm. I think he's iconic. Yeah, I would say I'd, more iconic than scary, but I'd say so too. I love that movie. I, yeah. I just, I, I need to just not, not like get affected by <laughs> all the fucking idiots who like just misinterpret what the movie's about, and then they like see him as their hero. I just, need oh, to, no. I just that need to put weird. that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I need to put that aside and be like, you know what? I like it. You know, yeah. <laughs> it's like the, guys for the it, right reason. Psycho yuppie. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Which I'm is the thing we need to get a conversation we need to have sometime is uh you know just characters that are that 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 problem exists with yeah um you know like Joker, yeah. Rorschach and stuff yeah Homelander All right. yep. I'll BRB oh. for a second yeah Anakin Skywalker um all right yeah, next I, I'm kind of both iconic just for the Huey Lewis speech <laughs> yeah is this just a funny movie yeah yeah um next up we have uh lake placide oh, god. The, the the crocodile <laughs> oh god that's like we should we should have one like i, I haven't know, seen it i have I, I know that i shouldn't be complaining about the tier list after you know it's already made but like i feel like now that we're realizing it there should be a, a tier for like just goofy as fuck that like who, yeah yeah, I don't know. yeah wait is this that's the one where scary. Um, is that the one where uh, it ate Samuel L. Jackson? No, that's no, uh, that's I think deep, the blue, deep, blue, deep blue sea. Deep blue sea. Deep blue is that sea it? Yeah. Yeah. I always get those confused. He gets the hero speech and it just eats him right in the middle. Of it. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't seen it, so I'm not helpful on Lake Placid at all. Okay, I feel like I got to put it next to just Anaconda. Okay, yeah. I mean that that seems like honestly where it goes. Just what I wait. Know what those movies? What? Have Did you seen something? Lack of pee pee head? Are you talking about pumpkin head? What? What's what's missing? Wait, who? I don't know. I feel like I thought she was saying that something was missing from the. Oh wait, list. wait! I can't see the. Oh, what is pee pee head? No clue. I. What is that alligator? That is not an alligator, my friend. That is a crocodile. That's the, that's the tier we needed. Can't. Crocodiles and alligators are very different. Alligators live in the U.S. And like most things in the U.S., they're fucking lame compared to their African counterparts. True. I don't know. True. Yeah. Yeah. It's terrifying. <laughs> no, yeah. no, but crocodiles are just objectively cooler than alligators. I, I don't know if any of you guys would have any strong feelings about that. If it's subjective, why do we disagree? Well, it's been a while since I lived in Florida, but I remember it being a thing where essentially alligators are actually fairly passive in less uh, exactly. territory. Crocodiles, crocodiles are fucking not. attack you. They don't. Crocodiles give a shit. are fucking pieces yeah. of shit. <laughs> like if an alligator is out of its territory, it comes across to you, it'll leave you alone. <laughs> yeah, a crocodile right. will hunt you down. Yeah, All right. crocodile um, does not. Yeah. All right. So I've put. Yeah, I'd, I'd I'd say they're pretty similar. Next up, we have a, a less, a, I guess, a less well known one. Uh, we have Michael Myers. Oh, dude, Wayne's World was great. I love that movie. Austin <laughs> Powers, the first one was good. Austin Powers, um, was good. oh, he's great in Shrek. I yeah, yes. I love that shit. <laughs> Nailed I, I like whenever he showed up in fucking Inglorious Bastards. That was cool. Yeah, yeah. that was just so, so random, but worked, man. Mm -hmm. I remember Game Michael Myers in Call of Duty Ghosts. That was a good time. <laughs> I'd say put him in goat for that alone. Yeah, you know? yeah Michael Myers is goat. Uh, Michael Myers like, is a goated. Halloween Myers... is like the best of the slasher movies. Like yeah. it is 
well, unreal how good that movie is. But it's also got it's 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 everything, right? Like there's there's great ones, there's fucking atrocious ones. There's yeah. uh, a couple of different like kind of reboot kind of restart things. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I actually fucking think that this uh, recent trilogy is going to be looked back upon as a uh, very fondly uh, in the future. Even the last one that a lot of people I have like. mixed feelings about ends, but like 2018 was really good. I think kills gets underrated a bit. I think kills has some value to it. Um, but yeah, just like growing up, you had Michael, Freddie and Jason. Those are the three big yeah. ones. That original Halloween movie is the best those guys ever had by like yep. almost a mile. It is insanely mm -hmm. good how great John Carpenter's Halloween. Well, because is. it does so much with so little, like it, it doesn't really yeah. do as much as you would expect a slasher movie to do. Mm -hmm. And it, when my kids are over for Halloween, um, the movie we have to watch is Halloween or Shining. It's going to be one of those two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Shining. The shinning. It is um yeah, there is there is no question. It's a goaded. Yeah. Um, next we have Norman Nordstrom from Don't Breathe. He's the oh, blind God. guy who's like a yeah. fucking badass. He's, uh, he's pretty fucking rough. Um mm -hmm. you I got mean, me he's again. definitely scary, at yeah. least. I'd put scary. Like he's not iconic or anything, but no, nah, okay. I don't know. It's pretty would... iconic whenever he's like he's putting that jizz in that baster, and there's like a pube in there. It's pretty iconic. <laughs> that is iconic. Um, no, like I I like this movie. It's he he has like a force like a like a forcefulness to him that I don't even like remember seeing like fucking like Jason having. You know? Yeah. Like he's brutal. What's well, like the 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 kind of a contrast of like him being a, what seems like a helpless old blind man. But then, exactly. like, he is absolutely going to fucking... Mm. He's, he's very capable. He's going to destroy I, you. I just want to say I, I'm happy to see Love for Halloween 3. Michael Myers isn't in Halloween 3. That's why I didn't bring it up. But Halloween 3 is underrated. Like, that. that is... As, as its own thing, it is fun movie. and stupid yeah. and fun. It's creepy, too, man. It, it's a, yeah, it's a I avoided the sequel movie. to Don't Breathe for a while because I was like, no, you can't fucking redeem this guy. He fucking, he's a fucking rapist. You don't redeem him and it really doesn't yeah. it, it kind of it does get him in a position where he's kind of the the protagonist in a weird way but like he's also is a, a piece of shit that gets what's coming to him so like, yeah um, like if he if he hadn't had his basement thing going on in the first one that would have been a lot more who aggressive. are we on who We're are we on, talking uh, about the guy from don't breathe norman what he's called like the old blind oh, guy. okay yeah i would say scary for me yeah, yeah. So just so you know, um, the city just alerted us there might be a gas leak two houses down from me. Oh, so oh. they might come back and tell us we have to leave for like a, a few hours. So All if right. that happens, I may have to go just a heads up. So it's gas leaks are, not, not are, are absolutely scary because that can they if, are. if that blows up, it's like it's pretty bad. Pretty yeah, bad. And there was that whole season of community where with a gas leak. Yeah, so uh, we'll figure things out. Anyway, right now they just came and told us they're investigating, so I don't know what's going to happen. Holy okay, shit. yeah. But if you need to leave, just yeah. Yeah, I mean, Please gas don't leak blow up terrifying. Look, look what's yeah. happening to you. I mean, priorities, like, right? Oh, gas I'm, leak or the stream. I don't know which I one. Mean, tell them that you just got to finish the tier list. <laughs> right, just hold <laughs> yeah. off until I'm done with this. <laughs> yeah. All right, who's next? Next up, we have Hannibal Lecter. Go. I, goat, and this for me is a goat. Like Silence I mean, of the Lambs is. I don't think there's an argument against a goat with Silence of the Lambs. I mean, it's just no. It is. Yeah. Well, even like even Hannibal, which is not like a great movie, he's still fucking gr great in it. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, he's still excellent. Anthony I mean, it, it, I think brilliant. like Anthony Hopkins is the best performance of it. But Mad Mickelson in the TV series was fucking good too. I agree. Uh, yeah, Hannibal Lecter, fucking yeah. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Um, next up, we have Cujo, <laughs> the dog. <laughs> Cujo is scary. I don't know if it's iconic or goaded. But yeah, I, 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 I lean towards scary on that one. It's it's, not, it's and, scary because it's an animal. Like animals yeah, are, yeah. you can't reason with an animal. So yeah. it's and especially like a, a dog. You know, like like we have an anaconda and a crocodile, but those like. Those will kill you even if they aren't like. The, but yeah, a dog is supposed to be a dog is supposed to be a nice, cuddly friend, like not yeah, a exactly. killing at us. Yeah. So. So okay. yeah, that's that's. I put scary. Scary. 
yeah. Next up, we have uh, Kevin from Split, and that. God. Oh this is such, God, is that this who is, that is? This is this is such oh. an underrated movie. For me, I would put him in yeah. an iconic because I feel like it's just an iconic character. But I understand yeah. people don't want to. I don't put know it if there. I can quite put him in iconic. It's a solid movie, and you like, know who? Hmm. like uh, uh, James McAvoy is amazing in the role, and like it, it felt like it would be kind of like a renaissance for for M Night Shyamalan, but. Then you find out it was actually an old script he had sitting around, and and then Glass oh. came out. And was like, Ugh. I like to imagine it as like a prequel to X Men, and like he's still just playing <laughs> <laughs> Professor X. Yeah, right uh, before first class. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, there it is a bit problematic. That's true. Uh, the whole that whole thing is, you know, yeah, yeah but yeah. at the same time, I kind of. Uh, it's fine. He's also Whatever. got superpowers too. So. Yeah. I mean, here's the issue: is that that, and I think sometimes we get caught up on this. As like, I I do believe that we have to leave room for for people that are bad, even if they represent something. Same. In, yeah. in the world that, that I've gotten into with a friend before. Uh, you just have to understand what it is, and and the reality is, and we get this a lot and I don't want to go off on a tangent, but we get this a lot where people say, oh, well, you know, you shouldn't do certain things at certain times because then people will take it the wrong way or whatever when it comes to expression or storytelling when it comes to gay characters. And I mm -hmm. feel like you have to really look at each individual thing and decide what it is and how it's being portrayed. Mm -hmm. uh, because if we start thinking that way, that's exactly what they want. They don't want things represented because they'll go, oh, this is bad or whatever. We, we end up falling on the side of censorship. And I don't necessarily yeah. know if everything needs to be censored. Just acknowledge that it is problematic. Right. Like Artie was yeah. saying, you acknowledge it's problematic, but also you, you should not do it simply because it represents a bad character. We just have to I, understand I have, I have a real hesitant, like reluctance toward people just trying to make hard and fast rules for what you can and can't create right. as far as storytelling. Yeah. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. It's different uh, if your if your entire purpose is to like d like make an entire community look bad. That's a yes. completely different conversation to be. Had. I mean, yeah, of course. Here, uh, pop counterculture. Uh, that performance is basically stunt acting. Homeboy, it's showing off. Yeah, I mean, he's an amazing, amazing, amazing. Are you talking about Pinky yeah. Little? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I mean he's right. Like I remember watching part of that, thinking, "Wow, this is like an acting reel for, yeah. for yeah. James really at times." But like he's good. He's fucking good. So I, I don't know if that's necessarily a slight because I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, I don't think that, that that would definitely not be one that we would feel. I don't I wouldn't feel comfortable even rating. Oh, that, like, that one's really problematic. Ooh, like like we, I mean, we talked about it with, um, you know, uh, what you call it? Uh, what or we mentioned it earlier in the list. I'm looking to see where it's at. Uh, Buffalo Bill. Yes, Buffalo, Buffalo Bill. Bill. Sorry, yeah. it was brain farting there. Um, how that is also a problematic role, but it's iconic, and I think people in the community accept it for what it is. Like, yeah, and, I don't. And it, you can also tell in that movie and the story in general, like they're not trying to do that. Like they go out of their way to say he's not trans. Like, yeah, right, and like they're, they're you can really you can, trying to say you it. can see that yeah. you can see that as like incidental. To him being yeah. a, a serial killer, whereas like Angela and Sleepaway Camp, it's like the yeah. the thing is built around that you know around the, the whole gender reveal you know that shit. Mm -hmm. Like it's and, and it's all done for reveal. Yeah, it's very exploitative the way it's revealed and shit. So yeah, so. I actually think there's movies that are not horror movies that have done more irreparable harm to queer people than sure. those roles. I mean, mm. one of the ones that I think people think of as iconically, which I think is still wrong, is you know the whole, um, what is it, the Boy George song? What's what's the name of that movie? With the oh gosh. The Crying Game. I'm I'm, I'm having oh, an issue. Right? I never oh, saw that. But, yeah. Shit. So the, to me, the Crying while. Game. The Crying Game has done more harm. I mean, it is a iconic movie, right? People remember it and mm -hmm. they quote it all the time. But that's a movie where it just feeds into this 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 stereotype about you know and trans people what? and. Yeah. Isn't isn't like the character just played by like actually a really fucking gorgeous woman too? It, like uh, no, it's no, 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 it's the guy that was also in um the Stargate movie as well. Yeah, uh, he was uh, a villain. He was mis Stargate. misremembering yeah. what else. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, but yeah. either either way, like stuff like that does more harm because the the whole point of that movie was getting to the scene where she takes yep. off her dress and it's a trans woman. That's right. The, that's the mm -hmm. whole point of that film, and, and the Human guy being disgusted die because of stuff just like that. 
Yeah. I think there were some interesting talking points in that movie. We're completely off topic now. There's interesting talking <laughs> points in that movie to be had, but I think ultimately like something like that, I think is, it, it leads to more issues than like a horror movie in my opinion. Yeah. Cause you know what you're, when you go into a horror movie, you know what you're going, you're going in. Yeah. For, you know what I mean? Fair. fair yeah. Point. yeah. There, there's a degree of not taking it seriously when you're going into horror. That I, I, so, but well. pink, but mm -hmm. pink bunny, I'm just saying like, I'm talking about the argument from the standpoint of making something that people could use as a weapon against you. That's the, that's the argument I'm making. Not that it's not important or that it's not a good movie or that it, it addresses some issues. There's a lot of people in conservative spaces that constantly use the crying game as a punchline. And mm -hmm. I, I don't think that it shouldn't be made for that reason. I'm saying that, 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 that movie I see used more often than, than, you know, any of the other stuff we've talked about here is the crying game. Next one. Let's well, we move on. Next. Uh -uh. next one is Godzilla. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Godzilla's a good one. Um, that Oops. first movie holds up extremely well, too. 1954's Godzilla is really still good um, if you watch it today. I, I um, wouldn't have thought of Godzilla like that, but... <laughs> I'm not against it. Um, I lean towards at least iconic. I mean, I guess you kind of just have to say... The only reason I wouldn't want to say goat is because I don't, I still have a hard time framing them in my mind as like horror, but I guess that's what it is, right? Like, especially if you're uh, post, I mean, you know, uh, post World atomic II, bomb Japan yeah. and you're, 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 yeah, yeah that it's all, it's probably. all about the horrors of the nuclear. You know, the thing about Godzilla, I feel very similar to Frankenstein and Dracula. We've had so many versions of Godzilla. Yeah. I mean, it's just yes. really difficult to nail it down. At the very least, Godzilla is iconic to me. Um, you could yeah, argue yeah. some versions Godzilla of Godzilla are goaded, but not all of yeah. them are goaded. I Same. think the more iterations of something you have, the less likely to be goaded it is. Yeah. Um, and and think, like, yeah. Yeah. I feel like the more it goes on, the the more likely something's going to be bad. Um, but I don't know. We've had some really good Godzilla. We've had some really bad Godzilla. I'm comfortable putting Godzilla in Iconic, to be yeah, honest. I, yeah. I think this is also where I'm leaning. Um, I mean, because it is iconic. It is also like it defined a whole genre, you know, of like the big monster movies. What? They're coming out with a Godzilla movie? Whoa. Whoa. They're I've also coming out Godzilla with a Godzilla movie. TV show, which looks yeah. really fucking good. I can't good. wait for They're that. They're literally in the comics right now doing Justice League versus Godzilla. And, I saw uh, that. Nice. Ah. That sounds awesome. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I like the argument that it's like with Frankenstein and Dracula. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 cool. yeah. All right. Next up, we have the nun. Now, that's I'm personally God. at a hate. I've only seen the first one. It sucked. Yeah. But I, I didn't like. I didn't like say. this at all. Yeah, I'm leaning towards yeah. hate with the nun. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I can go with but hate. I'm fine with going with hate because I typically just do not like horror movies that have like Christianity as the fucking framing device. Like you have to believe in. Christianity Isn't it the lowest hanging fruit? Movie? And when it comes to stuff yeah. like this, I feel like it's the yeah. it's the it's the like. Well, it's so easy to go, oh, let's just do religion and then flip it on its head. It's, it's yeah. just the easiest thing to do. Yeah, yeah it's it, it it can be good, but like not the nun. Oh, no. yeah, I just I'm just like, yeah, I, 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 I just <laughs> don't like the nun. Yeah. Um, next iconic. We have <laughs> iconic or good? Easy. Iconic. Yeah. Or good. <laughs> Kathy Bates was great. Um, what's yeah. the character? For, I'm brain farting. Misery, Annie, Annie Wilkes, yeah. right? Annie Wilkes. Okay. Yeah. terrifying um the really leg really terrifying scene the super fake um, <laughs> i can't watch that scene i i always turn away even though i know it's fake it, it, i, th I think it's kind of designed to make people turn away like, yeah yeah it's yeah. really well done yeah i think that's that's definitely an icon yeah I, I think that i i can go with that for yeah uh, misery Fair enough. it's either that or goat for me i'd say I, yeah i'd say iconic is better it feels yeah. more comfortable it's yeah. no low. It's it, I like if it were scary, I'd think that'd be a crime for how low it is. So it's like if you put if you put her next yeah. to Hannibal Lecter, you kind of see the difference there. I feel like you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, but also if you put him next to Kevin, you know, like you also <laughs> yeah, see there's a difference, difference there too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like she she can hang with some with these guys. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I, that seems reasonable. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have Ghostface. I mean, kind of so right? many like, different ghost faces. I don't even but, know yeah. where to begin. There are, kind I mean, of like as it, as the concept though the fact that it is something that people keep returning to uh you know both in the story and that it keeps working in 
for movies, right? Oh, like I just saw yeah. this, the newest one not too long ago. I was like, holy shit, this is great. Like it was a really no, the, fucking this, good movie. The sixth the sixth one's the best one, not by Kevin Williamson. So I, mean, I, I was not great. expecting and the sixth five movie to too. be like so much better than the last several, but yeah. Well, I mean it's it's I, I think it's worth saying, like uh Scream Three is my least favorite. I don't hate it. It's definitely yeah. weak though. And so I would. Like, I'm okay with with either goaded or iconic. I don't really care yeah. either way. Um, yeah. I guess I think, maybe okay. Let me think about this. Hold I on. think He's it goes all over the place. Like obviously, I think Billy's a great killer, but like Roman's yeah. nowhere. Um, yeah. So it might be kind of like the iconic ones where it just kind of goes all over the place. Maybe he doesn't deserve to be next to Norman Bates, Terminator, Predator, uh, Pazuzu. Yeah, he's probably iconic. I guess. But for, but for me, for me, he's like he he was Ghostface was my go to costume when I was younger. Like oh, every okay. year, because I like yeah, a Ghostface so young. mask, and because <laughs> yeah. like like he is like he's probably like the big icon from like my generation. I'd say right? I agree with that. I would say that's probably yeah. accurate. I mean, so like so, Freddy Krueger was my guy, and like, yeah, Ghostface mm-hmm. is actually a commentary on Freddy Krueger. If that tells you anything, yeah, <laughs> mm, cool, yeah. Uh, the things I also part of like the whole like there, there's many different iterations to me that is almost like a cool thing because mm-hmm. it's not like with Frankenstein and Dracula like those are still the same character whereas Ghostface mm-hmm. is kind of like yeah it's literally different characters yeah mm-hmm. and it, it's like a persona you know it's like 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 mm-hmm. so it's really funny you're right so Ghostface is other people playing the same character whereas Frankenstein and Dracula are other or other people in yeah. the roles of those characters yeah so it's, it's, exactly yeah. That's my only thing where yeah. I'm like, like, that's my my reasoning for it, it being different than that and still putting it. Go, it's it's like meta. All... It's almost meta in a way. You exactly. Know what I mean? So it's like even the bad ones. I'm like, I don't mind as much. You know. Yeah. yeah. But still, if you guys I, want to put it in iconic, I'm fine with it. I'm okay with goaded. I That makes sense. You make a valid argument. I mean, yeah, it's so meta that it's, it's, al- it's almost like it's a character playing a character of a character. Well, it's really, then, really fucking weird. You know, this yes. is kind of it gets into the stuff that I like talking about with this is like, so are we thinking like, and I think we've talked about it a little bit so far, but the the effect, the cultural effect of Ghostface is pretty fucking huge. Yeah. You know, you yeah. remember uh, there was a scary movie and the, you yeah, know, I mean, they, it uh, spawned its own parody of it's a parody of a it's it spawned off a yeah. parody of a parody, basically. Right. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's kind of just keeps, it keeps on giving and it's really for being such a simple fucking design. It's yeah. kind of impressive. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it's just um, a lot of like the slasher movies that have come since have like it. A lot of them have been very inspired. Like you can tell. Oh, you yeah. know what Ghostface I is mean... like? Ghostface is like the horror movie version of Spider Man because it's like <laughs> me. Anybody can be behind the mask. You know what I mean? Exa- <laughs> exactly. It'll fit. Well, eventually. What I think is interesting is that like uh, the screen movies were so influential that even started bringing back some of the the the. Uh, the older uh, slashers and new iterations because after Scream you mm-hmm. got Halloween H two O. I know there's yep. more than that, but like yeah, it's it was a big deal. It um, was. and let's face it, as far as horror franchises, it probably has one of the better track records. Um, yeah, sure. I could go for Goated. I mean, I'll I'll vote for Goated as well. Hell yeah, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Next up, we have Jaws. Goated. I'd put Jaws and Goated for me. I, I feel like that's a dude. Ca- that I mean, is such an amazing movie. Oh my god, the first Jaws is. I mean, I, I haven't even seen any of the sequels. Fair, but I love the first Jaws. One. Created the summer blockbuster. That was yep, that movie that created true. what a summer blockbuster is. Um. So Jaws, yeah, I, like my, my mom's generation. I remember her telling me that like the, the kids were fucking terrified of going into. But literally going yeah. into the water like that was the tagline or whatever. But like it was also just it still persists today. That da da yeah. And da, 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 exactly, da, like John just, Williams Stinger. Oh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I do feel bad for like people who like sharks and like marine biologists and stuff because there, there's been a big effort to try to get people away, like to get the stigma surrounding sharks away because of right. what this movie's. Oh yeah, like. you're you're not you gonna know? get me to see sharks as fucking cute and cuddly. Sorry. Mm-hmm. No, uh, no, I, I mean, but not right. But it's <laughs> like like there's still so many people who've watched Jaws with who are like. Deathly afraid of sharks when sharks are not like <laughs> one of the things that will kill you. Most I mean, likely. we wouldn't have stuff like the Meg and Sharknado if it wasn't for Jaws. I mean, these exactly. movies only exist because of Jaws. So, so. actually, 
I don't know if that's I a point. Put Jaws down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, the original Jaws is so goddamn good. Um, yeah. First Jaws yeah, is really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But are you guys sure you don't want to put it down by its buddies? Oh, uh, yeah. Conda, no, absolutely crocodile. not. <laughs> No, it's All not right, even fair. cheesy like those ones. It's actually just a really good movie. <laughs> that is true. Jaws yeah. is amazing. All right, next up we have the better doll. Mm. We have Chucky. I'm like Whoa. Brad. I love Brad Dorif. Um, I lean towards iconic with this one. Um, I'm gonna yeah. say goat because no, no, because here's let me make my case for you. Okay. Um, let's see, uh, uh, what's his name? Don Mancini. Is that his name? The guy, the the uh, the creator. He's the Chucky is the only right. one of the kind of OG. You know, well, he wasn't quite OG, but he was part of the original run of like the iconic slashers that got big in the eighties and nineties. He's the only one that has the same continuity throughout. If you ignore True. that fucking dumb, yeah. uh, you know, uh, version that they did with Mark Hamill as the android version, and you know, it just it, it doesn't count. But Dude, like the I, only I, continuity I... that's the same that that Mancini's been involved with all of it. And it's also evolved to the point where the TV show, because uh, Mancini's a gay guy and he, you know, uh, is is now able to write and produce this show where the main character is gay, a, a little gay kid. He's able to, you know, uh, it's about bullying and, and using Chucky for those kinds of purposes. But at the same time, prior to that, it was a horror movie with kind of tongue in cheek, uh, you know, kind of thing going on. But then it got a little bit silly and then it got super silly and then he kind of reeled it in when they started making new ones on Netflix and made it, you know, a little bit more serious again. Mm-hmm. And then you've got fucking uh, uh, Brad Dourif's uh, daughter, Fiona, playing it uh, in the in the show and in the movies now, too. So it's just like there's so many cool things about Child's Play Chucky, right? And I think he, he's uh, iconic enough to be uh, fucking good. At- <laughs> I make a good argument. Say, I'm going to go with that then. If, if yeah, you make a good argument, argument, too. And I was just going to, I wanted to add, like, for the advertising next episode of the podcast, we're talking about uh, child's play 2019. Uh, oh, nice. And I was really disappointed to learn from Bobby that it is an Android and not voodoo. Cause I want to see Mark it's... Hamill do voodoo magic. God damn it. Um, they probably decided it, the it, voodoo it, thing was problematic, you know, and like, and then this, that this would be more resonant and it's just, it's not, it's mm. just not. I, I like, love Brad Dorf just straight face seriously doing the voodoo spell on the doll like he is yeah. so goddamn stone-eyed and serious during that scene it's amazing okay. um brad Dorf's great so like while goaded won't be my pick i can go with it i'm comfortable with it i'm gonna... yeah I'd, i i mean i was either between iconic and goat but i'm fine with I, goat. I think everybody's gonna know who chucky is right like you're gonna uh, oh yeah answer. i mean he, he he's iconic for me like yeah, but okay. but, but I was I also think you've like made arguments beyond that, you know, because yeah. because because mm-hmm. Dracula, anyone knows Dracula, you know, mm-hmm. but but it's like I'm I'm you you made a good argument for also putting him as a goat, you know. True. Sweet. Um, I so actually the only one where there's two of them is actually the two Pennywise. Oh, oh. you had two Pennywises. Oh. So there's Tim Curry and there's the. I Bill think they're Scars similar Scars. enough, although I don't know. Here, here's where I might get tomatoes thrown at me. Uh, you know. I think the new one's better. I'm gonna be honest. Well, here's the weird thing. Like, I, I'll I'll get tomatoes thrown at me too. That old TV movie kind of fucking sucks. I'll be. It's blocked. fucking lame. Mm-hmm. But really Tim Curry's lame. amazing in it. I love Tim Curry. I love Tim Curry and everything. Period. <laughs> I mean, which one are we on? The we're on Penny. We're, well, I guess we're on Tim Curry's. Oh, yeah. um, Curry's I would say Penny. iconic for me. Uh, but I do have to run. They're telling everybody we have to go like yeah. out of the neighborhood. So All right. I'm going to go out now. I don't know how long it's going to be, but it looks like we're almost done with the list anyway. Um, yeah. Is there I any big pick? I'm just... looking now. I think for me, I, I would say that Hellraiser and Freddy are the two, the only other two that I would personally put in goaded. So that's going okay. to be my argument for those two. Right. Um, but yeah, uh, anyway, I'll let you guys know what's up. I do have a stream schedule for tonight, but if this ends up being something that keeps me out of the neighborhood, like overnight, then the stream will have to get rescheduled. So, yeah. uh, but anyway, uh, I'm going to, I'll keep everybody updated. So stay safe, man. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah. Thanks guys. But yeah, see you. Uh, we, we don't need this to be the, uh, the Halloween that, uh, the, the gas leak. <laughs> that, uh, mm. yeah, that's yeah. Real method acting here. Okay. So our next pick is the gas leak. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the great gas leak of 23 but um, also i hate it um, so it's also scary 
<laughs> so, so, so we're I've, dealing exclusively with Tim Curry's Pennywise. I love Tim Curry. I love the performance. Uh, the movie sucks. Yeah, but I think even beyond that, yeah. right? Like mm-hmm. th- that whole like the first scene with fucking with the sewer. It's just iconic in of itself, you know. True, but I don't know. I like it better in the new one too. I do too. Same. I'm on like I would be down for like putting like iconic and then even like goaded for the new one. Yeah, I, Maybe okay. God, like the the second one didn't throw him, but the first one of the new one, so good. And even just as like an icon, like whatever I think of the movies, right? Either way, yeah. I just think Bill Bill Skarsgård is perfect. He's fucking great. He's have he's you guys seen a movie showing yeah. him and uh and I think it's I forget the girl's name or which actress it is, but it's like uh so it's a movie called Villains that he's in. Yeah, um, it's a fucking good movie. It's just, it, it, just good. Uh, also, have you guys seen um, uh, um, what is it, Barbarian? No, I fucking not, watch uh, that movie. It's on, yeah. it's on uh, HBO Max, I think, or on Max, and it's also on uh, Amazon, I believe, or Shutter, I guess. Mm. Watch Barbarian if you if you need a new horror movie that you have no idea what's going to happen, but you want to be sure that it's fucking good. Barbarian, fucking watch Barbarian for Halloween. All right. All right, sounds good. I'll watch Barbarian. <laughs> this is probably because he's Swedish and I'm Danish, and we are. That's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Not blonde sure. white people. That that's it. Um. Oh, sorry. Uh, naked old ladies. Um. Yeah. So, so are people fine with this? Like. Yeah, I love. I I'm good with it. Because like, I think this I one's more like iconic, I... but this one is just for me goaded. Yeah, well, the the Tim Curry version is literally just an iconic, just because of Tim Curry, in my opinion. Yeah, he, he's he's a legend. Um, and then the other one's actually really good. Yeah, this one like actually scared me. <laughs> yeah, it freaked me. Out. I, I'm comfortable with it. <laughs> yeah. All right, Hellraiser. Oh, Pinhead. Go. Ooh. Go. Well, Pinhead isn't necessarily a villain, but he is. He, you're true, true. But he, he is, is he's like he is you the guy. know who he is. Yeah. He's like ultimate also uh <laughs> I would I would say that maybe we could also throw the new pinhead on here. Um, but you know, that's fine. I don't know. I think they're fairly similar, but they're both great. Like uh, uh the design of the new one's so fucking Brad cool. Douglas let's, and, let's just do a collective uh, Jamie pinhead. Clayton, both great. Okay. <laughs> the concept of, of the hell priest, because Pinhead wasn't actually his name until after the first movie kind of got True. that name given to him well he had such a small role in the first one but it stuck around because like i mean shit i will tear your soul apart <laughs> fucking good shit mm-hmm. um yeah. so I goated, goated. For sure. yeah. by the way the only reason i tracked down hellraiser back in the day was because it starred uh andrew robinson i just wanted more garrick <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Fair, but uh, yeah, I I can definitely go for uh, uh, goaded on this one because shit. Yeah. Who doesn't know Hellraiser? Who doesn't know Pinhead? It's, uh, yeah, it's true. terrifying. Even though he's not the, really the villain, he's not. Bob is like very com- certain to make sure we understand that fact. He's like, look, yeah, he not, actually, he's, he's not, he's not the actually the villain. Pay attention, him, guys. Do you understand? See, what this the thing is, about? to him, pleasure and pain are the same. <laughs> <laughs> he's just doing his thing guys <laughs> so yeah i mean i think for all of us pinhead is definitely one of our favorite villains of all time yeah. mm-hmm. i'd say that he's like pretty much the only one that kind of rivals in design and everything uh mm-hmm. the xenomorph for me i mean still mm-hmm. not as good still it doesn't beat yeah. the xenomorph but it's up yeah. there i mean he's definitely yeah, a good like horror evil, villain man. yeah it's one of my favorite horror villains for sure um so oh the the green girl yeah, so uh, Samara, or what she's called, or I guess oh, that's the Western one. The, the tape like... one, what is it called? The, uh, the ring. ring. Right. Yeah. Ringu. So I did I... not like the ring, but I thought Ringu was really good. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if it quite qualifies to me as iconic. I'd go for scary. I'd put scary. I'd say scary. I mean, it's, I know, I remember at the time when it came out, it was definitely a trip to see her come out of the fucking TV for the first time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but it kind of, you know, I guess lost some of its, its appeal magic over the years. Yeah. I put scary. I, I, scary works for me. Yeah. Next up, we have the strangers from the strangers. And the strangers pray at night. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I honestly have not seen either one of those, but I—I I, I, no, no, one I haven't seen. Um, 
Have you seen it, um, Yes, I have. I, okay. I, th- I, th- I think I it's just like, opinion. <laughs> I think it's a solid good movie. I don't know Oops. if I'd put the actual like icons in it. Hold, hold as, on, like, hold iconic, on. Chat, but... chat is rebelling. They're revolting against us right now. Or at least Wait, Greg what? and Lucifer are. Uh, I kind of agree. I think that uh, that Smar should be iconic. Just because oh, yeah. it, it, we 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 are rating the the icons, not the movies. I think we just we put a lot in the movies themselves here. But she is yeah. she is an I iconic. Mean, icon. Well, I mean, and even though it doesn't it doesn't do the same thing for me, I have to you have to give credit to that first time you see her come out of the fucking TV, right? Like you gotta yeah. put some weight on that. And she and she's still lower than the grudge, which I I wanted yeah. because she is she's the as she should be. The yeah. grudge thing is fucking terrifying. But we're exactly. plenty are in the same tier as Buffalo Bill, guys. Yeah. I mean, as far as like icon and icon status, right? Yeah. I mean, there's some discrepancy, right? Like like for me, like Bill, like Jake Saw and her are like not sure. And and like for me, she's on like this level with like the the bagul and shit you know she's like straddling the uh, scary icon real, line real quick lucifer i'm like the yes tim curry was great in that scene but like i would put tim curry in iconic for his overall performance not exclusively for that scene yeah and, and yes, just same. you know tim curry gets uh gets that placement just because tim curry too yeah tim yeah. curry is great in everything yeah. tim curry was great in muppet treasure island yeah I mean, oh, the guys, holy shit, what? this reminds me. Have you guys seen that? It's unrelated, but related. Have you seen that clip? I just saw it for the first time. Apparently, it's been out for a while uh, of um, Tim Curry doing trying out his voice for the Batman the animated series Joker, which he apparently oh. did before they said, nah, that's not right. And they got Mark Hamill. Damn. I'm wow. going to find that so we can check it out when we're done. But yeah, cool. I've never heard that. I didn't even know he tried out. That's yeah. wild. But I mean, so we could put Iconic. I love the chat, but like I just personally disagree. But if you guys have been yeah. convinced, I'd, then I'd be fine with a high scary. But yeah, yeah I like, lean towards high scary. I guess you like like I know this isn't proper ranked, but like I'd say top. It's like <laughs> Lucifer's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> yeah. Samara pops up in Muppet Treasure Island. She can get goaded. Okay. <laughs> We'll all right, yeah. Wait. yeah all right go ahead um so the strangers right i think this is a like just a good scary movie um but i don't know if i'd put the strangers themselves as like iconic horror villains you know i don't i trust your vote but, yeah, but the movie's you're good. on your own on this one i think like like it's one of the better movies here but but it's like similar to like a sinister you know like it, i don't know if i'd put yeah, it okay, as good as that but, but sinister, then yeah yeah like like it, it's just like a it's a, it's a good time if you like horror movies. You know? Um, who's, who's next? Uh, Le Terminator. Ooh. As a, Ooh. as a, as a villain, like, like when he's, yeah, this evil. is pretty much from the first one. Cause yeah. that, that, if you remember the first Terminator is a horror movie. Um, exactly. And that's the one we're going with. We're not going like action hero judgment day dude. And so where we're at that point, it is Arnold and uh, Robert. Oh, Patrick dude, no, go, go, go. Ooh, you're going go. Hmm. Dude, okay, you cannot. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I will fucking quit this podcast. <laughs> um, <laughs> listen, because you're we're you're thinking about it in terms of like all all of the sequels where he's like he's goofy. He's like oh he's doing smiling and and oh uh, la vista. No, think about cast your mind back if you can imagine pretend to be you know a, a young person a kid I don't know. Uh, when the original movie came out and this fucking guy he's he doesn't say anything he doesn't you know i mean he, what he, he only says what he needs to he kills without like any kind of concern it's just like there's literally nothing that can fucking stop this guy he was it was a slasher movie terminator was a slasher movie and he was fucking iconic he he i mean but he's yeah, also yeah than iconic. he's iconic go go <laughs> go go you make a good case and i also just thought of the fact that like how many of these guys on this list have absolutely devastated a police station? True. I mean, that's that's pretty cool. That's Honestly, that's yeah. nice. I mean, well, we didn't we didn't put uh what's that movie? Um uh fuck, what's the name of that James Wan movie? Uh the, the recent one he did, the horror movie, because there was a police station murdered in that one. Um I'm not sure. I did not know about that one. Uh, well, but, fuck, what's yeah. the name? Somebody guys help me out. 
on chat. Uh, the, that, the one with the one, the girl with her fucking the thing on the back of her head. <laughs> <laughs> Malignant. Yes. Thank you. Oh, okay. The recent James Wan movie, Aquaman. <laughs> Have you seen Malignant? <laughs> that shit is fucking bonkers, dude. No, I've oh, not God. seen it. It is bonkers, but yeah. Um, so, so for me, heard of it. Uh, first of all, your argument rings a bit hollow because I do not remember it coming out. Well, I, I mean, I don't, I don't either. I was not. I mean, I was like a child, little baby child. But like, yeah. I'm just trying to say, I'm saying, pretend I, that you didn't have all the context of the. Never mind. Forget it. Here, you know. I personally, can't, I can't oh wait, wait. It. Personally, Wasn't I don't find sunglasses one? and a leather jacket that cool. So, like to me, he's just a less cool Jason. It's than not that about first cool. One. He was fucking terrifying. He's this yeah, fucking hulking, hulking figure. Oh no, man! You... For me, I can't put him above Jigsaw, but but you know what? If you guys are two against one, then I'm fine. It, it, look at this. This guy I, never even commented actually... before, and he's fucking got dropping this fucking wisdom on us. Yeah, I I would actually bring up Jigsaw. It makes me think. Yeah, he's definitely over Jigsaw. Honestly, um, what you guys? Yeah, are... I can't see the Terminator being in the same thing as Jigsaw. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, you, you do realize, like, you guys absolutely have not Jigsaw, seen me and my brothers' Jig, Jig, Saw movies, okay? I, I that that would have changed your fucking world. I don't care what traps Jigsaw uses; Terminator is butchering him. <laughs> I, I, I think, uh, I think we've kind of hit this, uh, this, this generation gap uh, problem here, guys. <laughs> where, <laughs> where, where uh, Bob and I have respect for the fucking Arnie uh, original Terminator, as, as you know, well, you know what. I, this is why I want to control of the tier list, okay? No, I know. I all right, you know what? He's a goat. All right, I was I was just trying to challenge you guys, see if you made valid points. And Cause, yeah, because the... look, I mean, I would trade Pinhead for Terminator. To be honest with you, if I had to, yeah, like I'm actually, not going yeah. to really. If, if like that, you, you care about it that more much? Old, kind of more Dane talks about the, the term, more I let me, think about it. Let me yeah. tell you, when I, I saw Terminator, the first movie, whenever I was probably uh, eight years old, uh, and way too young, and it fucking freaked me the fuck out but i also loved it and then uh, a couple of years later t2 judgment day came out and that was my absolute favorite fucking movie until the matrix came out Damn. like nothing topped t2 for me until the matrix and uh yeah if he goes up here then i'm taking ash down now i'm true ah! <laughs> all right How let's just move on you? before i get angry <laughs> okay sorry Spe speaking of angry here we have freddie fazbear <laughs> From the I Five Nights no at idea. Freddy's video games. Oh. No, the main reason no, I, I, I had to see that movie this weekend. Yeah, the main reason I, I put him in is because he's not a, like a like a like a live action person. He's a video game character, but the movie's coming out tomorrow, so I, I'm not familiar. He looks. You know creepy. what? I'll give him that. I'm just gonna not put him. Pink Bunny, I think you're thinking about T2. How old are you? I just you're you gotta be my age. Like. If you were a kid and you saw Terminator, the first one, the first time before any of the other ones came out there, it had to have been pretty fucking scary. Come on. The first one is an action horror movie. Like, yeah, just rewatch it's a slasher that movie. movie. It's set up. Yeah. It's like structured like a slasher film. Um, all right. We have Hook Guy from or the Fisherman or what he's called. From, it's a horror movie. I know what you did last. Yeah. Yeah. I know what you did last summer. It. It's like, yeah. I'd agree that they did. <laughs> All right. Glad we finally nice agreed up. on something turf. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have we have the White family, the Armitage family from Get Out. Oh. Uh, Ooh, so, I didn't even think about them. See, I uh. think I I find them very scary because it's just good old racism. Yeah, I mean, I would say let's scary. put them at goat, but then that makes me feel weird to say that these white racists are, are goat, goated. <laughs> yeah, the goat like, pretty much just yeah. white racist, yeah. So I almost want to say hate for like scary. a different reason. But then are we any well, better yeah. than them? You know? Um that is true. <laughs> you are you're making a if you, you know hate what, racists, doesn't that just make you make you a bigot? <laughs> you're you know bigoted against bigots. You know I mean? I'm fine with putting them scary because racist people are scary. <laughs> but that get out is a fucking great movie it is jordan yeah. peele has just been doing bangers in my he's, he's great all right this next one is for you dane goat number one fucking right right there in front of the xenomorph because they are absolutely <laughs> the fucking real villains of those movies 
terrifying. The fucking reach that they have, the power. They have fucking androids that they fucking put on ships that they can just like program to like, oh, you, you came across an alien life form. All other fucking concerns are out the window. Window, fucking bring that thing Windar. home. Yeah, bring that thing home. Fucking, you know, let everybody die on board. Doesn't matter. Bring it home. We're a fucking corporation. We're the company. We own everything. We're Amazon, basically. So, yeah. Um, fair <laughs> enough. Good argument. I can see that argument. I mean, Jesus, is there anything more scary than just a really powerful corporation? Nope. Jesus. <laughs> and it does seem like they basically own everything at that point in the future, yeah. right? Like, yeah. Fucking it's Jeff they're Disney. Musk. <laughs> they're Disney. Um, next up, we have Leatherface. Uh, oh, hmm. there's a couple of really just, good movies, but I'm just less f familiar with this franchise. But like, yeah. he's definitely in the top two. Well, being from Texas, I'm pretty yeah. familiar with the franchise, and so like yeah. I'm trying to keep that bias in mind. But I'd say he's you know he's iconic for sure, for sure. Yeah. But then, uh, you know, you guys can decide after that. I just don't I know if I'd put it on like, Michael Myers. I don't think you know? so. I, I don't think. Yeah, not for yeah I, I would not put him on this level. I'd, mm -hmm. I'd put him down here. Maybe yeah. because he's got no personality or anything, you know? like Yeah, he, he's just like, eh. mm -hmm. <laughs> But neither does Jason. To be, and, and that's why he's in the, that, it, the same tier. Jason kind of yeah. does, though, in a weird way. Like, you know how he'll stop and yeah. kind of, like, turn his head? Well, Michael Myers does that, too. But, like, you know, kind of cock his head and then, like, take off and i don't know there's a little bit of personality Listen, in there we already have the michael myers um, mindless killer in the goaded we don't have room for more <laughs> that is true i'm fine with this um <laughs> right, we only have a couple more next we have the people from wrong turn and i feel like we should <laughs> oh, just put the same as the, that. the inbred uh the inbred yes <laughs> <laughs> oh god i feel like honestly i feel like they they go next to lake placid i think they're kind of hilarious <laughs> I'd like down into horror villain, I guess. Yeah, I was either like, this or just like next to Hills of Eyes people. Eh, no, because I mean, I, I think the characters in Hills too. of Eyes are actually kind of scary, whereas these guys yeah. are just like serving the purpose of being the the cannibal killers. Like, you're not true. actually scared of them. It's more like, oh, don't I don't want to have that happen to me. I mean, I true. enjoy that first wrong term, but it it probably not for the intended reasons. I I didn't find it scary remotely. <laughs> Yeah, no, it, it's just a like a fun gore fest. Well, you know what? Into when you're right, you're right. It's a dime store water balloon version of the Hills Have Eyes. I don't know what the water balloon part's about, but yeah, otherwise, that's true. Yeah, yeah, it, it's not as good as Hills of Eyes. So I'm putting smack in the middle of these two. Mm -hmm. That seems. Good. Um, next up, we have Wolfman. I think Wolfman's got nards. He does. Um, I mean, I say he's goaded for you know. He's I mean, definitely one of the more interesting ones because he's he's like part good and part villain. Um, there's also not a lot of great movies with him though, too. So that's kind of sucky. That, yeah, it's the interesting thing. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd lean more towards iconic. Yeah, iconic is because because then, here's the thing. Because 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 yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say, like, are we including like all werewolves, like, uh, like American Werewolf in uh, what, what I'm not sure. What were you thinking? The John Landis one from late seventies, the Howling. Uh, werewolf I guess it's up to you guys. What you? What yeah, the so, American Werewolf in London. Yeah. Let's just say the the werewolf in general, right? Um, and so that you can. I'd kind still of, say well, iconic. Uh, yeah, I guess that's yeah. True, yeah. There, the, it does fall victim to. There's lots of different variations on mm -hmm. it. I mean, we got to We got. We might as well put drop one more in in uh, a lower tier because I think we all know where this is going. The thing. Oh God! Uh, the the vegetable monster in that old movie was so scary. Here's the thing. You gotta be fucking kidding. Okay, I'm obviously joking about the vegetable monster. This is the remake, and it's one of the few remakes that is way better than the original. Yeah, I could I go for goat on this one. There's Just, there's three horror remakes that I think are fucking uh you know not I'm not gonna say that they're well you know what else we'll say it about this in the fly that they're better than the originals. Then there's mm -hmm. a third one that like is not the same, it's not really a remake, but Evil Dead 2013 is fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, it's completely different yeah. from the original Evil Dead, but it is fucking well, great. I, well, actually, I would argue that one's better. Although Evil Dead Two for me was always the goat from that. Okay, one. you're right. Yeah, because Evil Dead Two is really the Evil Dead of one. Yeah. Yeah. For, uh, yeah. But yeah, the thing, 1982 is the thing. Like we have two John Carpenter movies in Goat right now, and I think they deserve it because I they think are, yeah, I the agree. Thing is, a, is a flaw. Right. It's it's a perfect fucking movie. It's yeah. perfectly, uh, you know, s- structured the suspense. It's it's like God damn, I cannot. Every time I watch it, I, I gain more appreciation for it. That's what's crazy. Yeah, uh, just, Greg, like, you are correct. Evil Dead Two is a sequel, but they spend like the first like ten minutes of Evil Dead Two kind of recapping Evil Dead One. So like, right. if you just watch Evil Dead Two, you're fine. They kind of yeah. remade Evil Dead, Dead 1. One for like a good bit of Evil Dead Two, so it's kind yeah. of both. It's, it's like 10 minutes. They get to it fairly quickly, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And lastly, we have Freddy Krueger. Oh, goat. Yeah, he's, he's goat. Like that. Yeah, that if you want to get make even with that it, remake shitty version, Robert England, like he kills you in your dreams. Like he has his whole fucking dream world. That is terrifying. Just the whole because... concept of him by himself is terrifying. Go ahead, Dane. Yeah. Well, okay, so I when I was uh, at whatever age I was at, uh, maybe eight or nine or something, when Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare came out, I was already uh, a fucking into this in the nightmare movies. And I was, I think, maybe nine or ten, maybe something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and my mom took me and my brother to go see it in the theater. Freddy's Dead. And I remember fucking just so clearly we're sitting there and the movie's starting. And then I feel something on my shoulder and I, I just kind of look and there's like Freddy claws on my shoulder. And it's like some teenager behind me that had his little oh, Freddy God. glove, you know. And I, I just turn around, I'm like, can I play with that? <laughs> and uh, you know, that just says all there is to it. Like I was fucking deep into that shit. I was, I love me some Freddy. I loved how he fucking yeah. well, like, had creative ways to like, you know, what so, ironic things that have to do with your personality or whatever that he's going to kill you. And and yeah. So growing up in the '80s, there are three iconic slasher killers. It's Michael, Freddy, and Jason. Now, my favorite movie, single movie from those three, is the first Halloween. My favorite yeah. franchise is Freddy. Yeah. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street, like one, three, and seven. Especially one and three. Fucking great. Oh, my God. Like, I feel like one has this great premise. And then three r- is the one that really pushes that premise. It really explores it in, like, all the best ways possible. Yep. Dream Warriors it's, is it's the good. fucking one. That is the one. Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously the original is the original. Yeah. And then, then there's, of course, in hindsight, there's the gay one, which I kind of need to revisit now that I understand. I need that. to revisit it too. I keep on hearing about the gay read, and I haven't rewatched it. But like, it's already called Two's not terrible, so it might be. I mean, there was some stuff in it. Like they did some really bizarre shit with the with the mm-hmm. rules. So like, yeah. you know, he literally comes out of the dude's body in the real world and he just like goes on a killing spree at a, at a party yeah. in the backyard. And that shit. is it's like, weird. this is weird. Um, but yeah, it's uh, the one thing about part two is that his makeup is fucking gross in a cool way. Like it's like way wetter and just like, mm. Ew. <laughs> but then they yeah. went back to it, uh, less gross. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I just think Freddy has made such an um, impact, and then there are enough good movies, even if they're not the greatest movies, like Wes Craven's yeah. New Nightmare. That was uh, the, pr- the pr- yeah, I really like New Nightmare. Three. Yeah, um, and then what I also found interesting about those three killers is that essentially they all spawn from Michael, but like you have Jason, which is like the 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 cheaper version, but then you have Freddy. Freddy is like the high concept version of Michael, like. We're going mm. to take all the the interesting ideas of Michael and like boost him up quite a few steps. Even though he did have some kind of lowbrow uh, jokes and humor, like he's like calls everyone bitch. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, I, it's high I concept but lowbrow. It's fucking it rides the line. There's a nuance there. And I'll be yeah. blunt. I've always wanted a Freddy versus Ash movie because I always want them oh, exchanging yeah. one liners. <laughs> they did a comic of it, but uh, yeah, it's not the same. Yeah, I used to ha- like hate freddy because i was like such a big jason Maybe. stan when i was younger and i was like and i was so ha- i just loved the freddy versus jason because i loved seeing him like get his head chopped off but like grown up I'm, after having grown up then i'm like freddy is a goaded goaded horror icon mm-hmm. and he just has a lot more personality he's the movies are a lot more interesting and yeah 
I'm fine with that. You know, uh, also, I just want to say, fuck them for making that remake where he's like, oh, he's he's not only a child murderer, he's a he's a pedo now, too. <laughs> like, mm, oh, yeah. Uh, you know, look, I could get on board when he was just a child killer, okay? Like, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> he's doing that too no no uh -uh. Yeah. but yeah so this is our final rankings is everyone I'm happy is there any like position where you're like this should be in a different tier like no i think it's wild because as we were putting this together it's like yeah this is i think this is falling together nicely let me go it's like, it's objective it. like, i yeah. say yeah, it's pretty yeah. objective. No, but like general, like when I look at these, like if I go from tier to tier, I actually like gen I see like it like like differences between them. Like, yeah, okay, this is these are all like the best of the best I can think of, right? And then like these are just not as good, right? But these are still clearly really like, good. better yeah. than these. Right? But these are still better than these. And it's just like, yeah. It all works. Yeah. It works. Mm -hmm. It works well. And, and look, I'm I'm glad that it look at rhymes. us. We have yeah. Just two that we hate. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm not cool. going to lie. I feel a little bad for birds being next to none because it's wonky, but man. Uh, it's not nothing, against, uh, <laughs> nothing against uh, uh, Hitchcock. It's just that. Yeah. yeah. I could have put any one of his in this. I just thought it would be funny to have birds. The psycho um, is way better. And we, we I, gave would say, I would actually say that it, from what I hear, and I haven't seen it, but I would be, I would think that maybe if I did watch that Winnie the Pooh movie, that that would go into hate too. I think it would too. Everything I've heard about, it sounds atrocious. Yeah, it sounds I mean, like it's it's it's, it's it's really not good. Um, <laughs> and I was like, I just, I don't have much of like a like a no no feelings for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But it's like, like I said, like if any of you guys had watched it and like really hated it, I would have been perfectly fine putting it in hate. So, so yeah, uh, chat. What do you guys think? Do we do we do all right? What do you, is there anything even that the, stands out as especially egregious to you here? Even though I, I feel like Winnie the Pooh shouldn't be in. It's a horror villain, I guess, because Winnie the Pooh is not a horror villain. Well, have you seen it, Turf? Do you want to knock it down to hate? Because I just I have seen bad. It is really, it. it is really bad. I only put it here okay. because I think it has this somewhat interesting premise of like what's like the worst that could have happened after Christopher Robin left them. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad premise. At least from what I understand, yeah. it just didn't do anything good yeah. with it. Good execution or anything. You know what? Let's do it like that. Fuck it. Then I'm gonna watch and be like, that movie was great. What's wrong with you? Yeah, goaded. <laughs> Now, is that did, is that the uh, what what is the guy with in uh scary next to the the uh sinister guy? Is that from Fear Street? What is that? That's from Fear Street. Yeah, I like those movies a lot. Yeah, uh, the, and and so so these are like like all the killers in those trilogies like okay. together in one. Okay. Yeah, yeah I mean they were pretty obviously inspired by other stuff, so they don't get to be too high on the list, but they were done pretty yeah. well nonetheless. No, yeah, like um, like they, they're good. I liked. Those movies. Um, know, let me ask you guys about this one. Have you seen um, uh, Midnight Mass? I have not. No, that's the one from Mike. Flanagan, Mike Flanagan. Right? Yeah, Flanagan. Uh, yeah. It's like a mini series kind of thing from a couple of years ago. It's okay, very fucking good. It's familiar. Very, very, very good, Flanagan's man. Good. I would recommend it. Like this one's a very personal one to him too. So like, it's literally him having a conversation about his how he feels about god and whether he even believes in god and spirituality it's like and there's so there's characters that represent these different things and it's like when it started and i realized that that's what it was going to be i was like oh no this is going to be so fucking clunky and bad and, and cheesy but yeah. it's very well written and he represents perspectives in ways that i didn't expect uh yeah. both atheist and theist and stuff and and it's also got some scary ass moments so Damn. So yeah, I, cool. I just wanted to double check my my history on Flanagan here, but like, yeah, he did do Oculus, which was just a creepy fucking movie, and then like that Netflix game, Gerald's Game, uh, wait, that's wait. a good one too, man. Um, Actually, yeah, yeah let's judge. fucking you know what I'd said. Let maybe we can do both, but like by the way, next week, next Wednesday, it'll be the first, so Halloween will be over. But who cares? Because the horror guru is going to be on with us. Uh, he he was on uh, with me and Perp last year, so it was two years in a row, making it a fucking tradition. Nice. Um, and, and yeah, we're gonna be doing some trivia versus each other, I suppose. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, talking about I I want to talk about Mike Flanagan. God damn it. Oh yeah. He's a damn good filmmaker. 
Mm-hmm. Like he he's just he's he's killing it these days. Yeah. But yeah, I'm actually like it's not always that this happens with a tier list, but like I'm I'm happy with these. Same. Yeah, so am I. I'm looking at it going, yeah, this is good. And I know there was some yeah. like disagreement as we went through, but like looking over it now, I'm like, eh, this looks good to me. This yeah, I think we na- I think this is the objective list, guys. This we is know. yeah, we should all post so if that, anybody right? disagrees, uh they're wrong. Like you're allowed to disagree, but just know you're wrong. Yeah, if yeah. you if you guys ever want like are not sure how you feel about like well, where does this movie sit? Just this is your list, so this is where yep. you come to get your opinion now. Exactly. Um, and if you why watch the movie know, for yourself and come up if your you disagree then uh uh kill yourselves or <laughs> you know uh, uh, <laughs> fucking rags yeah uh, but yeah um this is probably it for me guys um yeah yeah but it's been really cool being able to be here for like almost three hours that's not Hell often yeah, man. dude we I, need I to start wanna... early because yeah you were the tearless guy i did want to do a, a yeah. quick announcement wake i can you can you can get out of here first if you want to but uh, it's more for my channel than anything so oh um, is it long no not really no i have 20 um, pages worked out for it <laughs> like under so... like a couple minutes <laughs> yeah so uh force diversity right. podcast is going on hiatus guys uh, it is not going to be new for a while, except for Halloween. We're doing a, a Halloween special uh, on Halloween sadism. So, you know, the concept of like, you know, these motherfuckers that put all kinds of harmful, harmful shit in kids candy. They're putting, you know, razor blades and, and needles and like drugs. And, and in this case, like, let me see, there's one person put Marvel's Romulus in a fucking Snickers, and it's like, the how oh, fuck can you get, oh, man? How could they do that? Just putting awful shit in there like that. Um, nobody likes Romulus. Jesus nobody likes Romulus, Christ. I know. It's, why would you do that? I don't know. But, like... <laughs> no, let me find my actual uh, graphic for it. But it, it is a, a, a thing. We're going to look at it. And then also just generally talk about Halloween stuff. Talk about, oh, Richard Roundtree died. What the fuck? Hell yeah. Oh, no. Holy shit. That's yeah. damn. Well. Okay. Shit. No, no good. Not not good. D1, original shaft. <sighs> so yeah, it's gonna be the final fap for a while. Um and we're gonna look into how true this is at all. Uh if it is at all, and, and you know what I mean? So yeah. Uh, cool. And I think Bob expressed interest in being there. Do you want to come yeah, in on no, screen? I, like I said, I don't have my kids this Halloween, so I I am cool with popping in. I'm... Sweet. Yeah, you got to look. I heard that there there's some kids. I mean, some kids are finding uh, drag drag queen story hours in their <gasps> in their candy. Like, yeah, I know. Oh man! Yesterday, my that? kids actually found a drag queen in their candy bars. Oh wow. my god! They just wow. they, yeah they came right out of there. <sighs> Well, I mean, uh, Pista, that's why you got to watch the show to find out. Because that's uh, what we'll tell you. So, tomorrow I, I'll have my regular stream. And we're going to look over some critical drinker. And plus, I have a guest coming on to debate uh, morality, uh, whether or not it oh. comes from God or not. Which How can be- you debate ever again after that PP Little shit? You know, I know. Like, holy shit. He did decimate me. That was Bro, sad. just take a loss, all right? No, but so this a dude. Is he from somebody's audience in particular that you're talking to? Him I, I don't know off the top of my head, but yeah, he wants to debate. Like I did a short a while ago about essentially how uh, objective morality can't come from God because, yeah. Well, I did the short. I'm gonna play the short beforehand and then bring him on to debate what's said in that short. And we'll cool. See what, what time is that? Uh, it will start at four. Uh, the debate will come like midway through because okay. so we'll go into some critical drinker first because i haven't covered him in a while and and i, and I <laughs> do still plan to have the critical drinker video out on halloween as well so um, Ooh, nice awesome yeah really <laughs> fucking hell. really looking forward to that one yeah it's yeah. a banger it is a banger um <laughs> fuck yeah, yeah guys good, good stream good times absolutely look for uh, some uh some chud apocalypse uh content some point soonish yeah, you know, I'm also soon gonna be uploading more on my channel. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, there'll be 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 a little bit of a little bit of Spider-Man content because I'm in a Ooh. in a yeah. If, well, yeah I'm, hold on, if you guys can give me like 
I don't know, 30 seconds. I can have the I have the thing I said I was going to get and then didn't actually download for the ending oh, yeah. thing. But, um, Turf, I'll give you some advice on how you can upload content uh, faster. So there's this thing that lots of people do at night for like eight fucking hours. It's ridiculous. It's called sleep. You mm. can cut that down a lot. That's ridiculous. And you won't really be functional, but like you get so much more work done. And by more work, I mean less work because you're not functional. But yeah, oh, yeah. just do it way <laughs> too much. <laughs> just more but worse content. Yeah. By the way, uh, also <laughs> Friday, little... Friday I'm going to be doing a, you know, we're, we're kind of going back to basics. We started a little bit last week. It was a little bit un, unfocused. I didn't uh, really get a, accomplished what I was trying to. I'm going to try it again with a little more planning and pre preparation this week. Uh, so Friday back basics talking about fandom anti-fandom what is it why is it that we make this content that i make this content that we came together to do this shit i mean not that it's i'm not trying to speak for the initiative but i mean you know it is kind of the thing we've talked about before um and, and then uh yeah we're gonna just kind of go through week by week defining terms i'm gonna lay out things the way i understand them now after a few years of doing this stuff and uh just try to make a really cohesive uh series of, of video streams that that you know anybody that has doesn't understand it, then they'll understand it by yeah. watching. So sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And uh, other than that, I guess uh, you guys are awesome. You know. You too, man. Yeah. yeah. You guys. Thanks. Are Hell yeah. <laughs> you guys are pretty okay. Yeah, you're pretty all right yourself, man. You I don't know, care. The, what... In the grand scale of people, you guys are slightly <laughs> above average. I, I did, ha I did, and I still do have some pretty harsh feelings toward the Danish in general. But like, uh, you know, Fair. you're you're one of the good ones. Um, That's right. You. I'm dealing with Danes here. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> any da any Dane who like is here, yeah. All right. Take care of yourselves and and yeah. one another, and subscribe and whatnot. Peace. Oh, is, is the stream most? Hey, Batman! Looks like Captain Clown is really getting attached to you! You killed Captain Clown! You killed Captain Clown! Just for that. <laughs>